town is under siege. Gamma rays from the Andromeda galaxy are bit flipping my computer to hell, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Gamma rays from the Andromeda galaxy. Wait a minute. I I saw something about that. I saw like a video about that recently. What was is it true that Tell me it's not true that the Mario thing that I've heard that the Mario 64 speedrunner thing was a hoax? Is that true? Or at least I think I saw a video that at least like casted some doubt on it. You know the thing that was like the Mario speedrunner uh, was playing Mario 64 and like teleported up a platform and freaking whatever TikTok clock whatever um i don't know yeah i i don't know if it was like an yeah ionizing particle i don't know <clears throat> i think i saw like people are kind of turning on that a little bit and i watched a whole video on it and they were basically saying that there could have been another explanation like faulty cartridge and other things that could have caused like the data to like get all wonky but i don't know i don't know i want to believe it though I want to believe it. I, I mean, it's not that outlandish, right? I mean, we're... We do live on a planet that flies through space all the time. I gotta imagine that some of those space rays are coming and bit flipping some of these things. I don't know. I want to believe, yeah. I want to... I choose to believe it. They've recreated it with the math from a bit flip and it looked the exact same. Yeah, I don't know. All I'm saying is... All I'm saying is, I choose to believe. It does happen, yeah, I know, that's what I was saying, but, like, I don't know, I, I swear... I've been seeing these new, these new YouTube videos pop up that are like, mm, you know, it was, uh, you know... We don't know. Stuff like that. Uh... But, yeah. I don't know. Maybe Dream didn't cheat in Minecraft. Think about it. Think about that, huh? If a bit flip... E even though he admit, I know he admitted it, but like, e uh, just think about like if a bit flip could change Mario's position on a platform, if the sun and the moon are the same size, uh, from our perspective on Earth, 
Maybe he... I'm just saying... Maybe he lied about it to, like... You know... Because, you know, they say truth is stranger than fiction. Anyway. Hi, y'all. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the stream. Happy Saturday. This is my second to last stream before I go on break for the rest of the month. Um, just putting that out there. Just, uh, just a forewarning. Um, I will be gone for a couple weeks. Starting on Tuesday. I thought it was Monday, but it's Tuesday. My flight is on Tuesday. I've been seeing a lot of stuff about Boeing planes and uh, how they're, uh, a little, uh, a little scary to be on. And, uh, I checked my flight and I'm gonna be on a Boeing plane, so, uh, let me get some fried boy praise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, it's probably fine. I mean, all things considered, being in a car, right, is, like, way more dangerous than, uh, being on a plane, but Jesus. Jesus Christ. Uh, so either I'm gonna, you know, I apologize to, for making fun of, you know how, like, you know how some people clap at the end of a, uh, when the plane lands, they start clapping? I apologize for making fun of those people. I feel like maybe we should be clapping every time the plane lands. It's a goddamn miracle every single time it happens without issue. Because there's been a lot of, uh, craziness going on with those planes. Um, alright, well, welcome to the stream. I'm still on this earth right now. Uh, let's begin. Oh, oh my gosh, wow, look at this! Look at- oh, I still have a- I still have- I still have, um, I still have Poppy Seed's birthday hat on. The party's been over for days, but I'm still dancing. I'm still- I'm still at- I'm going at it. Let me get rid of this hat. Okay. Uh, um, what platform are you searching for Mario on? I'm gonna be searching for Mario on the SNES. On the SNES. The wink wink, totally not an emulator SNES. And we've we're halfway at, we're halfway through finding him. We've we've looked through half of the planet so far, and I think we have another halfway to go. But I think we're really gonna find him this time. I, I have a feeling in my bones. What's the most amount of class rates that classmates that have attended uh, your just chatting screen? Well, I wanted to say that each seat has about a 25 to 30%. I can't remember which, which is the only reason. I think it, I think I may have upped it to 30%, but it, it used to be 25%. Each empty seat has a 30% chance of being filled and it's just completely random. So sometimes the 30% just doesn't shake out and it's a really empty classroom and other times it just rolls 30% a lot. But on average, it should be about a th third of them. I don't know uh, what the most populated is, though. I feel like it was pretty populated last time. That's got to be one of the more filled classrooms that we've had. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, okay. I, I want to say this is pretty average today. Pretty average, but they're all concentrated around me. Did you find the March 10th? Not yet, but we're close. We're getting real close. Oh, gosh. Uh, I took some melatonin to sleep last night. Mmm. And I'm... It gave me a headache. I got... I got a... Freaking headache today. Ugh. So I'm not sleepy, I'm just groggy. Not sleepy today. For once. Exclamation point sleepy, just to double check. By the way, uh, Kermit Caddy, thank you so much for the 621 bits! Thank you, thank you! That's a very specific number of bits that you gave me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Matilic, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Fuzzwabut, thank you so much for the raid earlier. I hope you had a great stream. Welcome on in. Welcome, welcome. Uh, gosh. Oh, oh. I'm 31% sleepy. That, that sounds about right. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I'm not going to take melatonin for a while. It's just my sleep schedule was a little, a little wonky, and I wanted to set it straight. I took my straight pills to set my sleeping straight, and now I'm straight. And it worked. And it's horrible. It's horrible, I tell you. Horrible! Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I take Advil PM when I need to go to work very early. Hmm. 
I did. I was looking for Advil to get rid of this headache, but I found some two years expired Tylenol that I took. Uh, that's that's uh, probably okay, right? Uh, don't be me, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. I looked it up. I looked it up. I mean, I'm not gonna let this perfectly good Tylenol go to waste. Don't take that. What do you mean? It said it's. What do you mean? I wouldn't be sure. Literally, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Is it okay to take expired Tylenol? Don't... Hang on. Harvard.health.e... Look, listen, I'm not a medical professional. Nothing I say has any... Um... You know, don't do what I do. This, this is not... This is not medical advice. This is not medical advice. Don't sue me. But I'm reading from Harvard... Health.harvard.edu. It says... It says, uh... Most of what is known about drug expiration dates comes from a study conducted by the Food and Drug Administration at the request of the military. With a large and expensive stockpile of drugs, the military faced tossing out and replacing its drugs every few years. What they found from the study is that 90% of more than 100 drugs, both prescription and over-the-counter, were perfectly good to use even 15 years- Listen, this is not medical advice. 15 years! After the expiration date. And I'm just gonna assume that Tylenol falls under that window. I'm gonna freaking assume that. Uh... Practicing without a license? Yeah, I just- You know, you can just buy a lab coat and uh, people just assume you're a doctor, which is kind of a- Kind of an awesome thing to do, so um... You know what? Why don't we all uh, do that? And see see how far it takes. See how far you can get. You can buy lab coats uh, off of Amazon. He fucking just fuck it, just steal them. You can steal lab coats. Uh, and then you could just do whatever. I mean, laws don't apply to you if they don't know. Law, you can't hurt being being illegal. Can't hurt if no one knows. You know, being a criminal. Uh. But yeah, ninety percent is good, but ten percent is bad. It's like playing Russian roulette. I love Russian roulette, though. Uh, when I see people play buckshot roulette, it looks really fun. Heck yeah. Um, all you need to get anywhere is high vis and a clipboard and confidence. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I know where to get at least two of those three things. Um, 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 All you need to get anywhere is a gun. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know where- I, I don't know about that. Ooh, I don't know about that. That's a little too hardcore for this otter. The confidence comes later. Oh, okay. It's like a fake it till you make it type situation. I see. I, I get it. I get it. Oh. <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Loud music for fuck. Loud. <laughs> what? What is loud music for fuck? What is that? Explain that to me. Ah. Uh, anyway, now that the medical advice portion of the stream is over, I mean, uh, the not medic. Fuck. Shit. Damn it. Anyway, I have a headache. Um. I'll be all, I'll be all right. I'm just I'm just whining. I'm complaining. I'm allowed to whine for the first twenty minutes of stream. We all we have all agreed to this. We know we know what to expect. It's the whining hour. Um, the new Nautilus kit is fun. Ooh, are we talking Splatoon? Can you moan as well? Excuse me, not for free. Uh, I'm st uh you know uh. Top of the show, I want to say that, uh, uh, even though I will be going on break for two weeks, uh, uh, tier three subs are still highly appreciated. I'm still trying to reach my, um, uh, uh, plus, par partner plus goal. Um, unfortunately, Twitch only counts people who subscribe themselves. I don't know why, I don't like that rule. So, um, of course I, I really, really appreciate gift subs, but for the purpose of this, uh, Reaching this milestone, it's, it's, uh, tier three subs. Well, any sub, really, but 
Uh, it looks like I'm going to need about, um, I want to say about like 12 new tier 3 subs, which I feel like is a really tall order. <laughs> but uh, if you want to be one of those 12 to help me reach my goal, you know, you can still subscribe even though I won't be streaming for a while. Um, that will be very, very much appreciated. Um, to show my appreciation, everyone who subs uh, at tier 3 this month will be added to the credits of this game that I'm working on. Um, called the A Date with Chester 2. You will be in the credits. Once I come back, I can download the list of subscribers and check everyone's sub status. And you will be added to the credits as a supporter. Um, and also, you'll be, um, considered for a art raffle where you could be one of these lovely beans behind me. You can be added to the pool and can randomly show up on any stream. And you can copy my homework. Um... And that's pretty freaking cool, I think. So, uh, yeah, there, there's, that's where that is. Um, I think I'm at, like, 230 points, and I need 300. Um, we need to reach 300 every month for three months in a row. And then I'll, um, get more money. Which is great, because I could use that money to make my content better. And I can also use it to do other things that make my con that have no bearing on my content, but mostly it will make my content better. Three hundred good boy points. Yeah, we're getting more. We're getting the good boy points. Yeah, uh, bean me up. Uh, sure, you be coming right up. Uh, hmm. I don't want to cheat off you if you're wrong. Oh well, well, that's the risk that you're gonna take. I mean, do you believe in your own answers or do you think my answers are better? Start becoming Mr. Beast? Um... I did- you know what? I did actually try a Mr. Beast chocolate bar for the first time the other day. It was called, uh, D's Nuts. Like, I'm actually- I'm not even joking. It was called- it was like a peanut butter chocolate Feastables bar, and it was called D's Nuts because it had, like, peanut butter in it. And it was, like, three dollars for, like, a tiny, tiny, tiny little chocolate bar. And even the guy at the gas station was like, you sure you don't want to buy one of these other chocolate bars that are, like, way bigger? And I'm like, no, I want that one. Give me give me the Mr. Beast D's Nuts. So I bought that, and I ate it, and it was it was fine. It was okay. I mean, nothing really special about that. Um, so, yeah. I've, um... I mean, I guess I like D's Nuts. Want some more spite? Ooh, I do have some more vinegar. Those bars are the worst? It was very mid. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was, it was, it was alright. Why are your paws up? Because I'm beaning you up. I'm beaning, I'm beaning you up right now. Um, they should, I, you know, I got the beans. Mr. Beast may have the beast. Or the nuts, or whatever, I don't know. But I, I got the Mr., I got, you know, they should call me Mr. Bean. Why haven't they made that yet? Um, I'd bean you up. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate That means a lot to me. Oh, spill the beans? No. No, I need those beans. You know, um... Everyone said, like, every, like, British person is like, Oh my god, Hershey's tastes like vomit. Uh, like, Hershey's chocolate tastes like vomit. You gotta, you gotta do the freaking, you know, whatever. Uh, whatever, Cadbury chocolate, whatever. I don't know what it, I don't know what they got over there. But I'm thinking there's got to be at least some people who, like, like the taste of vomit, right? Like, what if- there's got to be, like, some of y'all out there that are, like... When they hear, oh, um, Hershey's tastes like vomit, you're, they're like, yeah, I know. <laughs> that- that- yep. Exactly. What vomit have the Brits been eating? I don't know. It's just something I've heard. Yeah, Cadbury- yeah, it, it is Cadbury. Okay, yeah, it is Cadbury. Could you not? Huh? I'm just saying, like, there's gotta be some people out there. There's a lot of different kind of people. Nintendo says there's a lot of different kinds of people in this world. And that's why Mario looks like that. I'm eating... What? The bleh. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I hope you're enjoying your food. What you eating? What do we got? What's on the menu? Um, I hope everyone's doing well. Actually mean? No! A burrito bowl. That sounds really good. Uh, ba 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 I don't want to be mean. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you're enjoying the burrito bowl. 
I have a taco in the fridge, and it, um... I know I'm gonna get hungry at some point today, and I'm gonna eat it. It's a cho- it's- a, why, why, I was gonna say chocolate. It is a chicken taco- a chicken soft taco with guacamole on it. But the guacamole is probably all- I, I mean, it's a day-old taco, so the- I don't even want- I mean, the guacamole might all be funky by now. Some people are gnomes? I don't know, are gnomes- aren't- in like D&D &D and stuff, aren't gnomes like considered a different race of people? Gnome Chomsky? What? Y'all are speaking in riddles. See no Mario, hear no Mario, speak no Mario. No, we will find Mario. We will, I promise you. Um... You know... What was I gonna say? What was I gonna, what, what's going on in my life? I've been trying to edit a backlog of um, clips. You know, I haven't really been editing clips very often because editing takes a really long time. But honestly, you know, it's um, editing like short clips for for Twitter, for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, whatever. I think that's like a good thing to do generally for streamers because. It's hard to convince people to, like, sit through a stream. If you're like, if you're like, oh, I've been watching this streamer, like, you know, most people aren't gonna, like, check that streamer out, because, um... I don't know, streams are hours long, and the people are usually busy. And it's hard to catch them live, yada yada yada, and it's like, oh, no one's gonna watch a VOD. Um, generally, stream- streaming has, like, a really, um... Um, it's, like, hard to, like, convince people to, like... I don't know, be part of the community, I guess, so... Um, when you edit short clips, it's a little bit more accessible. People get- people get a read. Also, it's like, if you finally convince someone to, like, watch a stream, it's like, you pull up the stream and they're just, like, playing, like, Fortnite and, like, not really, like, in the middle of, like, saying anything, and it's just like, uh... Uh... And then Twitch hits you with the freaking pre-roll ads, and it's like, man, I don't want to freaking be here right now. So that's why I want to get back into editing a little bit more. Um, because that's how people discover you. Uh, so I was looking up ways to make my editing life a little bit easier because literally I'll be sifting through a whole ass VOD that's like hours long and I don't know where I was like I think I said something funny to that stream I don't remember what but it was somewhere around the middle and you're like trying to scrub through the VOD and it's like DaVinci Resolve is really slow and like the freaking audio waveform hasn't loaded in yet so you don't know where is what and it takes freaking forever it'll literally take like a whole day to make a single clip and no one is even going to click on it on Twitter unless you have captions for some reason. Because people just let videos autoplay without any audio. So people won't even watch your shit unless you have captions in it. So that takes another freaking hour or two to make sure your captions are done properly and formatted properly and all that stuff. And it just takes a freaking long time. And I have other stuff I want to do, you know? I don't, I don't want to spend all day doing that stuff. So I was looking up. I was looking up uh, something to help me, because a lot of the times I want to condense a video to be a minute or shorter, because people don't want to watch videos that are too long. I'll be cutting out, like, pauses between my sentences, and, you know, when I kind of stumble on my words a little bit, I'll just condense it so the sentence flows a little bit better. All that kind of stuff is, you know, it takes time. It takes time! It's not stuff that I have to do as a streamer, but I think it's something that is good to do. Um... I was looking up ways to make that process a little bit easier. I found a tool that I made a whole thread on on Twitter. It's called Auto Editor. Um, and I made a whole big thread about it on my main Twitter. Um, that's twitter.com slash I'm Chris Yim. That's not, that's my non-Chester Twitter. Um, because I thought it was really cool and really helpful. And also it was a little bit confusing for me because it doesn't have a GUI. Um, a GUI is a graphical interface, so it's 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 a really powerful tool that like edits out silences in your videos, but you have to use like the freaking command prompt or like PowerShell to like actually run it. You have to like feed it the directory to your video file, and then it like spits out a video or an XML file with all the edit information, uh, all the cuts and stuff in it, so you can import that into like Resolve whatever. That stuff, yeah, like a, a GUI, a GUI, I guess it's called a GUI, I don't know. It doesn't have a GUI. Um, I've never really used a program without a GUI before. 
Uh, and it was like really, really, really confusing because I'm really bad at this kind of stuff. But I spent like a whole day trying to figure it out and I have it working and honestly, it does save me a lot of time. Uh, I'll post the link if you're curious. Uh, auto editor, GitHub. I don't know, if, if anyone's a streamer and um, it sounds like it's useful to you, I do have a whole big thread about it on on my Twitter, twitter.com slash umchrisium. I made like a whole long thread, like I don't gain anything from making that thread, um, but I wanted to be helpful. And then I get this freaking, look, I'm not going to call them out on stream, but I got a freaking quote retweet that just made me mad because uh, I literally spent the last two days editing like a backlog so that I could upload stuff. You know, like I could get back into editing, I could upload some stuff while I'm on vacation and just have a little bit more of a consistent output. I spent like the past two days editing like nine whole clips for YouTube Shorts. Um, I was up till like 8 a.m. trying to figure out how this stuff works because for some reason, um, DaVinci Resolve wouldn't import my XML file for some reason. I figured out, finally figured out that it's because the file path used forward slashes instead of backslashes, and I was, um, exporting with the wrong profile, like, all that stuff. And I get a freaking quote retweet that's like, here, I'm not gonna show it on stream, but let me find it, because it just made, I'm like, man, why you gotta freaking be so nasty for? Um, twitter.com slash I'm Chris, yeah, I'm going on my own freaking Twitter. So yeah, I've been editing Brain these past few days. And freaking... I made this thread. Here's a thread. It has to be a joke. I don't know. <laughs> I literally... I, I don't... I don't... I literally don't know. I don't think it's a joke. I think they're just being mean. Um... I don't know, for some reason, Twitter doesn't show me, uh... I, I got this... Ugh, I, can't even, I can't even read it right now because... I have this, like, um, Twitter... Uh, this Firefox plugin that... Jumbles up my Twitter and... I can't even click on the quote cool retweet here. Let me look it up on my phone really quick. I just have to talk about this because... Look, I've seen a lot of shit on Twitter and, like... Rarely does stuff, like, make me mad, but this got me. <laughs> so maybe that's what they were trying to do, but it, like, it freaking worked, okay? Because I I've, I've, I've spent all day editing. So I made this whole thread, and someone says, I mean, sure, cool, but why wouldn't you just edit it yourself? Like, I have a question. Why are you so goddamn miserable? <laughs> why? Like, come on. I do edit myself. That's what I've been doing. Just because it's called auto editor doesn't mean that it's a one-click solution. It's not going to do all the work for you. Um, All it does... Like, yeah, I feed it a five-hour VOD and it spits out a two-hour video of just me talking. And that's really, really useful to me. But I'm not going to edit... I'm not just going to upload a two-hour long video of just me talking. Um, you still have to break it down to, like, figure out when you're saying something interesting or funny or whatever. And then you have to edit out the fluff, because it's, it's still going to include all the ums and uhs and, um, me stuttering and stuff like that. So, yeah, you still have to edit yourself, which is what I'm doing! So it's like, yeah, um, you didn't even read my thread, which is fine, but then if you didn't want to read my thread, then why even make a comment about it? You know what I mean? Like it, it, it. Why did you go through all the trouble of saying that if you weren't even gonna see what the thread was about? I'm not asking you to read it. I'm just asking you to freaking shut your trap. Ah, <sighs> so I'm just like, all right. Well, I'm over it now. Sorry to freaking. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. I'm not that mad. I, I was just like, what? this is the first thing I saw when I woke up. I'm just like, what? I'm groggy. I got freaking melatonin brain. Um, I was up late freaking editing. And I'm just like, man, what? What? Uh, ignore the quote retweet and look at the 400 plus bookmarks. Yeah, well, I hope that it's, I really do hope that it's useful for people because um, I, I I don't know, it, it's kind of huge for me once I got it working, like, like it's like genuinely like a huge thing, like, 
because I've been editing my own clips for a long time, and, um... I, I don't know, like, especially, like, the short ones, like, um... Uh, like, the minute-long, like, TikToks and stuff, like, generally, like, I do those myself, and, and, like, editing out, like, the pauses and stuff, like, it really does eat up a lot of your time. So for me, this is, like, a freaking huge deal. But I don't see anyone- I hadn't seen anyone mention this, I found it by googling. Um, since we're all still kind of warming up, um, I figured I can maybe just show you really quick how it works. Um, just because, I don't know, people are still rolling in and I'm already talking about it. And I genu- I genuinely think, like, if you- if you are a streamer, like, at least check it out. If- if all the lack of GUI stuff confuses you, there is a GUI version of it that costs $50, which, I mean, get get the bag. I'm not going to say it's not worth it. I was really close to buying that, but I'm like, you know, 50 bucks is a little outside my budget, so uh, I'm going to try to... I'm going to learn this. So it is free. Like, the program is completely free, um, and it's, it's public domain, but if you want to have a, a graphical interface, then... Uh, then that version isn't free, but you can get all the functionality for free uh, if you have like Python and stuff um, But yeah, let me uh, let me let me share my screen really quick and I'll just like show you it'll only take a few minutes I'll show you my VOD folder um, And I'll show you like how it works once you get it set up Now find an auto editor that creates the funny pop-in TikTok captions. You know, I do have the paid version of DaVinci Resolve, uh, and I found out that they have auto uh, subtitles now. I think it's a pretty new feature, and that also freaking saves my life. So I've been cranking these out, like, like I've been cranking out videos like crazy, um, and I've scheduled them on YouTube. So if you want to follow my YouTube, it's um, youtube.com slash fratboychester. Um, I will have a new YouTube short up every couple days, even though I'll be on vacation, so hopefully that'll be good if you want to go follow. Uh, but yeah, let me, uh, let me share my screen really quick and I'll just walk you through, because I think it's super cool. It's incredibly niche, I know. I know, I know, but I think it's really cool and I want to spread the word, the good word. So, uh, let's go, uh, here... And, uh, I'll show you my desktop, which is here. Sorry, it's a goddamn mess. So, here is my, um, I literally have every VOD ever. Um, don't mind the folder that says Ratatouille that looks kind of sus. It was for a video. <laughs> It was for the- it was for the Linguini, uh, jerking off video. Oh, fuck, that makes it sound worse. God damn it. Never mind that, okay? Just forget that. Uh, <clears throat> so I have all my VODs here. Uh, I save them as MKV files because, uh, I think it's like if OBS crashes, then you still have, like, p a piece of your recording. Whereas if you save it as MP4, it, uh, it, the whole video gets corrupted. Blah, 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 whatever. Like, that- that's- that's beside the point. So, I have all my VODs here, like, like, let's check this out. This is, uh, this is from March 3rd. What was I playing on March 3rd? Here, yeah, let's... so yeah, no, it's gotta be no gift. Here, let's, um, let's pause the music really quick. It's like, if I'm looking through a VOD, it's like, oh, what, what, what was that funny thing I said on March the 3rd? Where, where is that? I literally have to, like, I have to sift through the entire VOD. It's like, am I saying anything funny over here? And I'm not even talking. You know, Yo, who is this fucking the chump? They're not, they're not even saying anything. Is I like, I like Zeraora's tummy. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? That is kind of based, though. But, like, generally, it's like, there's a lot to go through, especially when you want to find one specific clip. And, yeah, of course, you can go on Twitch and just hope that someone clipped it. But generally, like, I talk really uh, slow... And I have, like, really long pauses between things, like, parts of my sentences. And generally, if I'm in the middle of talking about something, it'll take longer than a minute for me to get through my, my whole thought. So, uh, Twitch clips only, you can only, uh, 
clip like a maximum of 60 seconds. And generally it's not enough for me to condense into a video. So I'll still have to like find where the clip was, go into my VOD, cut that stuff up and put it all together. So, you know, it takes a long time, but, but with this new program, can't you do stream markers? I can, that does help. I just always forget to use that. So if that works for you, that's pretty, that's pretty good too. Um, but I found that this is generally like really good. So let's say I want March 3rd, let's say I want to cut that down. So, um, there's a lot less like, you know, dead air to, to sift through. And I want to find like something funny I said that day. So I found out that if you shift right click, you can get this new, I don't, I don't know why it's not there by default. If you just right click a video or any file, it doesn't show up. But for some reason, shift right click shows you this new option called copy as path. So I'll copy it as a path. So I have it as a file path. I have this bat file on my desktop that literally is just a text file with an auto editor command. Let's say I just want to edit down this video. So I'll paste this here. It just says auto dash editor. Once you get it installed, this will work. Um, because Windows knows where to find your um, Python package or whatever. Then the file path. And honestly, you can just leave it at that. If you just put this in, it'll give you a fully edited exported video. But if you add uh, export resolve over here at the end, it will give you uh, an XML file, which is essentially just like a text file. So I'm gonna save this. Uh, th this is an XML file, by the way. It looks basically like this. It's just a list of instructions for the editing program to know where the cuts are. Um, and it's very lightweight, it's very fast. So I have that saved here, right? Let me just run that. Let me see how fast it is, boom. Starting, extracting audio. Sometimes this takes a minute. Extracting audio, give it a minute, give it a minute. It kind of seems like it crashes here sometimes, but if you wait like generally like three to five-ish minutes, like generally this will... Sometimes you have to hit Q and try again. I don't know, it just gets stuck, but uh, this, all things considered, it's the VOD is, is how many hours long, right? Like, it, you know, it, it is going to take a little bit. Um, let's see, let's see. Something happened on your Twitter. Check your notifications. Kind of ominous. Kind of ominous. I don't know. I generally have my notifications, like, off. Like, I don't get notifications unless you're a mutual. So, I probably won't see whatever you're referring to. Thank you for the biddies, by the way. Thank you. That's, uh, that's a kind of ominous message. I don't know what, uh, I don't know what that means. Um, 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 you're not trolling me, are you? Uh, here, I'm gonna, <clears throat> okay, so I might, I might retry for this one because it's taking a long time. No trolls. Can you just tell me what's going on on Twitter? Because if I don't have my notifications muted, I would go, I would go literally cuckoo bananas. Uh, here, let's just give this another try. I'm gonna hit Q because I want, I'm, I'm here supposed to be showing off how useful this is and it looks like it's not doing anything. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. It actually started going after I hit Q. That was weird. Gee, I wonder, I wonder if it's saved. So I guess sometimes quitting will just like kickstart it into working. Um, let's check this out. I mean, it looks, it looks fully completed. All right, well, I mean, there's a tip for you. If it looks like it crashed, um, maybe just try hitting Q and it'll start going. So now I can, um, open up DaVinci Resolve. Hold on, I have to find it again. Uh, so you might have trouble posting a URL, like you might have tr trouble posting a link in chat, but uh, feel free to DM me whatever is going on. Um, let's see. So, I got DaVinci Resolve open. Let's create a new project. I typically name it by date, 2024, March 3rd, um, Art Stream VOD. I'll call it something like that, right? Simple as that. So I got DaVinci Resolve open, I'll go into my editing tab, and I'll go into timelines, import, 
uh, all this whatever junk because it's an XML file. And uh, let's just go over here and here it is. Boom. And you'll just hit OK. Yeah, the script cuts out all the times you're not talking. Right, right, exactly. And that's actually like, that's, it's freaking, it's really, really useful. Like, at least to me. So give it a second here. Uh, Resolve is thinking. It's, it's thinking. Um, generally, it takes a few minutes. Thank you for bearing with me. So yeah, maybe the process isn't as smooth as I would hope, but it still saves me like a ton of time. Just give it a second here. Uh, you found it. You found it. Yeah, um, just uh, whisper it to me. All right, here it is. Look, look, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I want to pause the music. So yeah, generally a few of the, um, some of the music in the beginning gets caught in there. You can generally just skip ahead. Generally skip ahead. Oh, I think I started, t no, I haven't started talking yet. So, like starting from over here. Uh, but I'm here now. How are you? How are you? Yeah, just pay attention to... Um, Sunday, fun day, bun day, whoa. Otter day? Question mark? Possum day? Hello? Every, every day? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. I went for a jog and I got really winded. I haven't jogged in like a year and I'm like, <laughs> oh, but it's a really nice day out today. Like, the weather is like weirdly good. It's like a... So I want to say like the most important thing to pay attention to here is um, the fact that I did tweak the default settings a little bit, but even with the default settings, when you when you don't edit like the margins, which is like the padding or the audio threshold, it generally does a really good job not cutting your sentences out like mid sentence. Like none of my words are chopped off in the beginning or ends, which is something that can happen with these kinds of tools. It's like it feels like summer. I don't know. It's it's like I'm like what what timeline is this? Oh my god, the jogger. Yeah, I tried. I tried. I failed. so it's just a continuous stream of me talking. So it's like if I want to go into the middle of stream. It was what twenty? Uh, it was like twenty people, nineteen or twenty. I forget. Nineteen or twenty. Thank you all for that, by the way. Thank you. Wow. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you, Green Magic Bear. Thank you, Yato. Thank you. You may enter the train. So yeah, so like if I've... First of all, how long was that VOD? Let me see. That VOD was... Uh, where is it here? The VOD is three and a half hours long. And let's see how long this uh, finished clip is. So we're starting at zero, zero, going all the way to the end. It's an hour. It cut two thirds of the video out. And um, because it's an XML file, it's non-destructive. So if I really do need some more footage, like maybe I'm doing something in a game and I'm not talking, I'm still like able to take this clip and like, you know, expand it to what I need, right? Um, whereas if you just run the default settings, it will give you like a fully rendered out video. So it's obviously a new video file, you can't do that. but. Um, when you do it like this with the XML file, it's like much faster. It's non-destructive. If I'm like, if I remembered, oh, I was talking about, you know, uh, whatever. I was talking about the Mario movie or something. It's like, I can find that really easily. And also, generally, it's like condensed in one whole section. And if there's some ums and uhs, they're usually in the form of these like really short clips. I could just freaking delete it, right? And um, it just speeds up my process so much more. So yeah, that's um that's auto editor. Uh I I think it's a big deal. Like, I don't know. Uh I hope that helps anyone out there. Um because editing your own clips is honestly, it just it just takes a long time. So, if that can help a little bit, you know. There it is. There it is. I just want to talk about that. I think it's super neat. Um again, the I do I do post the link and stuff on my on my Twitter or whatever. Uh, it's a free program, whatever, you know, if you can't get it figured out, you can always consider supporting the developer, whatever, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, I've been excited about that the past few days, honestly. So, why don't we play some Mario? I think we can play some Mario now. Did the whisper work? Let me see, let me see, let me check. Let's see, the council will decide... Important Twitter thing. Let's see. Let's see what this is. Really? Really? <laughs> really? You're sending me that? 
Yes, I know I've had my art uploaded to E6. I know I'm aware of this. <laughs> I'm aware. This isn't a huge revelation. I don't post anything on that site. People just take it and put it there. Um. Anyway, that's a classic furry moment right there. Okay, well, why don't we freaking play some video games? Because I want to play some freaking video games today. Um, ba 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 ba. Let's see. Let's get my emulator up. Yeah, not only do people take my art and upload it there, people also like edit my art without asking me, which generally like don't edit my artwork. So that's generally not a thing I would be okay with. They will usually. Um, this is the thing that happens sometimes. People will edit it, make it not safe for work, and then say that I drew it. And then I'll have to go on Twitter and say, oh, I didn't do that. And people will say, why are you lying? They'll zoom into the picture and be like, look, the line the line art over here is blended perfectly. Why? You don't have to freaking resort to lying. And then um, everyone's mad at me. So that's, that's a cool thing that happens on Twitter.com. <sighs> but yeah. Look at the pixels. Yeah, look at the pixels. Just because you draw circles on stuff doesn't make it true. Um... Classic internet, classic. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hi, Chester. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We'll play some more. Mario is missing. Let me open this up. Go over here to recent games. Mario is missing. Boop. Boop. I freaking love this game, man. I freaking love Mario is missing. It might be my favorite Mario game. Where's my controller? Let's see. Uh, uh. By the way, welcome to the stream. Sorry for yapping for a good 48 minutes. Freaking holy shit. But now, now, now we're not going to be yapping anymore. Um, welcome on in. Um, hi everyone. Hello, hello. Uh, let me say hi to some people. Let's look at chat. Straight back. Welcome, welcome. Graycon, hello. How are you? The Way Mutt, welcome, welcome. World Crusader, hello. Kovas, welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, Quint, hi. How are you? Dino Blast, hello. Call me H, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah. Welcome, y'all. Let's find Mario. Uh, search for Mario. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's my freaking save state? There we go. There we go. Because otherwise I would have had to remember the freaking password. This game is my childhood. I tried playing this game as a kid and I couldn't get past like... I couldn't get any progress in. So I like started it, got confused, and then just like never played it again. So I think it's really neat that I'm trying it out. Um, we went through, uh, these doors, so we did these already, now we have to do this one. Let's see where it's gonna take us next. Oh, glad to see you streaming. I feel better now that I did the rest of the week. Yo, I f I'm glad you're feeling better. That's always good. Things will get better. Where are we? Hotel Esplendido. This has gotta be... Where is this? So basically, one of the things you have to do... Well, that's another hotel, Esplendido. Another thing that you have to do in this uh, is you have to basically murder all the Koopas. And they drop artifacts because they are they are art thieves. They're stealing, like, the freaking Mona Lisa and shit like that. Oh, we found two! There's three of them hidden out throughout the entire, uh, throughout the entire map. The entire map you can see over here by clicking... You no, know, hitting the... Select button? Yeah, select button. So those three landmarks are uh, the points of interest, and each of them have a missing artifact. So you basically just have to go through, talk to people, stomp on the Koopas, and uh, then basically figure out what goes where. Let's talk to Peach. Why is the Teatro Colon closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the flute from the Teatro Colon was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet with more information. The Teatro Colon is considered one of the world's most beautiful opera houses. It is also famous for its wonderful acoustics, or sound system. It was built in 1908. 
The stage can hold 600 performers, and is longer than one city block. The theater is very fancy, with its huge chandeliers, red and gold box seats, and soft red upholstery. Besides opera, the Cologne is home to the National Ballet and National Symphony Companies. Huh. That sounds... That sounds really impressive. Here, let's, uh, let's check our inventory. So we've got... Oh, we've got the flute! Wait, we, we've got the flute. Wait, 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 wait. We got the flute. So why don't I go back and uh, we'll, we'll return it. Don't worry, we will reopen the Teatro Colon. I want to return the flute from the, from the Teatro Colon. Okay. But you'll have to prove your goods are authentic by answering a few questions. How many people can fit on the stage of the Teatro Colon? On the stage? 600 performers. Which group does not perform at the Cologne? Um, tango dance? Tango dancers? At last, the flute from the Teatro Cologne. We've been looking all over town. The mayor has authorized me to present you with this $1,710 reward. Thank you, and good luck finding Mario. Now we can go inside. Yo, look at that. Look at that dopey little Luigi over there in the corner. We love it. That's why this game is so good. Should have shown the inside. Yeah, that, I, I wanted to see the inside. Let's um, ask this nice police officer where we are. Where am I? On South America's east coast, Buenos Aires Harbor gives Argentina a reason to boast. Okay, so we're in, we're in, we're in Buenos Aires, I guess. What is this? Good catch, Luigi. That Boleadoras is from the Jose Hernandez Guau... Gau Gaucho Museum. I don't know how to pronounce that. How did you know who I am? I guess Luigi's world famous, huh? Um, so if you go into the globulator, obviously everyone's got a globulator nowadays. Um, let's go into the globulator and find out where Buenos Aires is. Oh, there, there it is. So if you hit OK, boom. So Yoshi's found us and we, and we can walk around a little bit faster now. That's always nice. It's a gaucho. Oh, gaucho. What's a gaucho? Okay, okay. Um, let's look around for more clues. Boom. We need one more artifact. Boom. Boom. Nope. Let's see what you got to say. Why is the Gaucho Museum closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Boleadoras was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Gauchos are Argentina's version of cowboys. Boleadoras, a Y-shaped lasso with a leather-covered with leather-covered stone balls at, the, at one end is was the Gaucho's most efficient herding tool. In the 1700s, the Gaucho lived in the fields with his herds. He mostly traveled the Pampa plains while riding extremely fast horses imported from the Spaniards the gaucho was the gaucho used the boleadoras to trip the bulls and cows on his herd causing them to fall once on the ground he could brand or butcher the cattle without help okay we're learning we're learning who <laughs> who up playing with the globulator whoa i globulating when she glob on my late my when she glob you later never mind uh sure ask me the questions the american version of a gaucho is a cowboy a boleadora is made of uh gosh i don't know Le leather and stones leather and steel so sometimes you don't get all the clues you need. You have to ask around and then people will tell you, Oh, that's made out of leather and steel. Um. Oh, White Dragoon, thank you so much for the resub. Thank you. Leather and stone. At last. The Boleadoras. We've been looking all over town. Thank you. Yo, we found it. We found it. You freaking killed that guy. You have to hit B. They don't tell you that. You have to hit B in order to get it. Oh, let's uh, let's check out the photo. Was it was it in the text? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, what do you use the reward? Oh my God, this guy kind of looks. 
He kind of looks scary. Like, what's up with his hands? Look at those hands. And look at his face. What the heck? That's actually terrifying. What? Uh, okay. Um. Yeah, alright. Thanks. That was... Yeah, that was awful. I wonder if they base that off a guy and I'm being really mean right now. I don't know. I just I just feel like they... That photo... That's not a great photo of him. Like, I know he's more handsome than that. Let me talk to this uh, Half-Life 1 scientist over here. Where am I? The Plaza del Ma the, the De Mayo. De Mayo? Plaza de Mayo is the biggest square in Buenos Aires. The city's name means good air. Oh. I guess that makes sense. What is this? When they used to when they used that to build the obelisk, Argentina's capital was already four hundred years old. The obelisk? Obelisk, you say. Oh, why am I saying it like that? Obelisk. Ob 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 I can't pronounce words today. Ob obelisk. Um, obelisk. There are still, uh, gauchos in Argentina. Whoa. Monumental detective work. That missing stone made a hole in the obelisk monument. Obelisk. Oh. Ob obelisk. Is it obelisk or obelisk? I don't know. I don't know these things. Here, let's check the map really quick. Oh, okay. We're actually really close to it. Let's go over here. Oh. There it is. Why is the obelisk monument closed today? Like the sign says, but the stone from the obelisk was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. The obelisk monument in downtown Buenos Aires honors the 400th anniversary of the founding of Argentina's capital city. Built in 1910 and made of stone, it was designed to look like the Washington Monument in Washington, D- Wait, hey, really? It was designed to look like the Washington Monument? Why? There are other obelisks to base it off of, right? Why that one? The obelisk is still very tall and can be seen from the from most of downtown. A small door on the monument's side allows visitors the unique opportunity to climb an obelisk. Whoa, you can go up it? A staircase inside being brings visitors to the top where they can look out onto the Plaza de Republica and view the entire city. Whoa. Bop. I'd like to return the stone from the obelisk. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are authentic. It it does it honors uh, the fo founding of Buenos Aires. You'll find windows at the top, right? Because you can look out. You can look out and see the city. At last. The stone from the obelisk. We've been looking all over town. Hell yeah. Ooh, you know what? Well, you know, it does it does look like the Washington Monument, I'll I'll give it that. Why does it it kinda looks like it's like oozing a liquid from the top window? Why why is it like a little bit drippy? It's a little drippy, but it looks good. Pretty good. Age? It's a shadow, but it's a hole. All right. Very impressive. That's age and bird shit? Oh, no. Uh, let's see what you have to say. Espanol is the national language in Buenos Aires. Okay. Why did you say that in English, then? Um... I think we're good. We, we got all three, so actually we can leave. And the way to leave is to find the blue pipe that we came out of. So we'll go down two, and then all the way to the left. Why don't we do that right now? Go down one more. It's good of Yoshi to uh, look both ways before uh, crossing the stream. Uh, just a heads up, we do have an ad coming up soon. We, we, we got our ad break coming up because I've been yapping for a whole hour. 
But, uh, I think it's a good time because we just finished, uh, Argentina. JS80FYJ uh, is our password. I got the ad starting up soon. We need more games like this? No, honestly, though, I genuinely think this is a good game. Like, actually. Like, yeah, it's weird and it's a little janky, but I think it's interesting and I think they put a lot of work into it. I don't know. It's, I thought this would be, like... Like, I honestly thought this would be, like, horrible. Like, really, like... One of those games that's, like, really bad. But, like, it serves what it's supposed to do, right? Like, the sprite work isn't bad. And you get to learn some random facts about cities around the world. Learn a bit of history. Yeah, it's like Carmen Sandiego. Um, those educational games were bigger back then, huh? They don't really make games like that anymore. Um, but I, I think it's because they perfected it. You know, why reinvent the wheel, right? Alright, we got the ad. Uh, and we got one more city to go for this, for this part of the game. So let's figure out where we're going. Yeah, it really does feel like a big adventure. I don't know. Ooh. Um, I want to say this looks like Greece. Where am I? Welcome to Athens, Greece. That is. Zorba was here, but left for the Acropolis. Zorba? Wait, who's, who's Zorba? Ooh, I would love to go to Greece. Ooh, look at that. Yo, I love the, the color palette for the skyline. Look how nice that is. All right, let's, let's go find the missing artifacts. Hotel Apollon. These buildings look like you can go inside them, but you can't. You, you can't go inside them. Not to be confused with Athens, Georgia. Whoa. There's an, we, we have an Athens at home. Athens at home. Luigi's killing all those poor Koopas? First of all, they are desecrating these ancient artifacts. So I think they had it coming. So I'm just stomping them indiscriminately because eventually I'm going to have to get them all. And yeah, it does help to ask the townspeople from time to time, but generally you can figure it out without talking to them. Alexis Zorba is a Greek peasant from a famous movie. Oh. Huh. It's extremely easy. This nation is the southernmost country in Europe. Wait, what? Generally, they... They try to rhyme, but that didn't rhyme at all. What? What do you mean, easy? Nearly stomped him? Nah. He's tough. Would have thought Spain? Is Greece really the southernmost? That's actually kind of surprising to me. Uh, this live? Huh? Uh, yeah, we're live. Uh, hi. You can see your chat on right above me. I don't do I don't do those pre-recorded things, you know. Yeah, and there's an ad break in progress right now. Let's find uh, let's find out where Greece is. It's Iran, Russia, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Greece. Oh wow, I guess it is. I guess it is the southernmost. Interesting, but it kind of seems on the same level as uh, what's this over here? Spain, Madrid, Gibraltar. That looks pretty south. Is that is that not Europe? No Sweden. Game bad. Where's Sweden? We got Berlin. We got Warsaw, Poland. Huh. It's not as far south as Crete. Oh. 
All right. Cool. See, look at this. Look, we're all learning together. This is awesome. That's some good shit right there. So we don't have any artifacts right now. Let's see where we need to go. Oh, they're all concentrated down there. So, all right, let's uh, let's go to the right one and then go down and we'll catch that Koopa. And then we'll find the rest of them. I'm not learning, I'm just listening. You're learning. Don't worry, you're learning. I love Mario is missing. Yo, welcome, welcome. I'm glad that people actually like this. Oh, we found our first one. What do we got? Ooh, we got a myth, um, a missing um, column, I guess. A piece of the Parthenon? Why do they explode? Only that one. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Where am I? Beware of Greeks bearing gifts is what they used to say. I don't believe it applies today. What? What is this? The Parthenon is the peak of classical architecture. That is a piece of the peak. Okay. Whoa! Freaking exploded him. What do we got here? Whoa! It's like some kind of disc or medallion or something. Hmm. Beware of otters bearing gifts is what they say today. What do we got here? Why is the Hadrian Arch closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the brass plaque was stolen and can't be reopened until it gets returned. The Roman Emperor Hadrian commissioned the building of the ornate arch. The arch separates the ancient city of Athens from the Roman city he built there, Hadrianopolis. The arch made from pure white marble was completed in 131 AD and resembles the French Arc de Triomphe. Two brass plates affixed to the arch says it all. On the west face, the inscription reads, This is Athens, the ancient city of Theseus. While on the east face, the inscription reads, This is the city of Hadrian and not of Theseus. Oh, very, very literal. Is it Hadrian or Hadrian? Whoa, 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 whoa. So what... What was missing? I want to return the blast... Uh, Br brass plaque. Oh my god. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are authentic. What other famous arch does this one resemble? The Arc de Triomphe. It's made of... Marble? Euros? It's made of marble. At last, the brass plaque. We've been looking all over town. Let's go inside. Ooh. I like it, I like it. Whoa, that was a double kill. Alright, what do we got here? Whoa, a statue. Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Where are we? As it happens, I'm an expert on Athens. If you have any questions, keep asking. Damn, this guy's freaking... Spitting bars at me. She'll want to go back to the porch of the Erechtheion. Five of her sisters await her. What? Where the fuck is Mario? We gotta find Mario. Hi, Chai. Hi. Hello, hello. We're in we're in Athens right now. Uh, and we have to return. Oh, oops! I passed it. We have to go up. Oops, man. Ah, no. <laughs> Yoshi, look out! Uh, alright, here, here we go. Why is the Parthenon closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Parthenon column was stolen and we can't return- we can't reopen until it gets returned. The Parthenon was built to honor Athena, goddess of Athens, who gave Greece's capital city its name, Athens. The Parthenon was erected between 447 and 438 BC by the same architects who built the Acropolis. The temple is famous for its quantity of Doric columns. There are eight columns on both ends and seventeen along each side. An enormous statue of the goddess once stood in the Parthenon's great hall. 
She was 39 feet high, her hands and face made from ivory. Her dress was 2,205 pounds of pure gold. Whoa, that's crazy. 30, 39 feet high. 447, 438. Gotta remember these things. Erected, hee hee. You know what? I'll give you that. That That is pretty funny. That's pretty funny. I thought we were gamers. Knowledge is power, and power is... Power... We, we love, we love, we love leveling up. I got the... What? What is that? I got the drachmas. Bring on those famous Greek dramas. What is what does that mean? What's a drachmas? Wait, 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 wait. What's this? A karyatid. It should be called carry a roof because that's what they do. I can't even carry a tune. Oh, it's Greek money. Oh, I'm learning. Alright, wait, 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 wait. Let's go to our inventory and change it over to this one. Drachma balls. Interesting. I want to return the Parthenon column. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are authentic by answering a few questions. Okay. Architects who built the Parthenon also built the Acropolis. The Parthenon was built to honor Athena. At last, the, Parth the, pa the Parthenon column would look looking all over town. Boom. Let's go inside. Whoa! Ooh, I like that. I like I like the art here. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh, and it's here. It's right here. Why was the Erechtheon Temple closed today? Like the sign says, bud. The Karyatid was stolen, and we can't reopen until it gets returned. The Erechtheon Temple's floor plan is very complicated. It was built to include many earlier temples that once stood on the same site. Over the centuries, the temple has been a church, a palace, a harem, and a storehouse for the Greek military. Its most famous feature is the porch of the Karyatids. A deck supported by six columns re resembles young girls. Each Karyatid stands six feet and six inches high. A girl's dresses look like columns- looks like the columns they replace. The Karyatids are copies. The originals are removed to protect them against pollution. Oh, wait, what? Harem? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Let me re let me return these. Hmm. Each character has a lovely face. What are they meant to replace? Uh, columns? The original Karyatids are removed to protect them from pollution. At last. Let's go inside. Whoa, Mario Farum Harum, fuck, you fucked it up. Whoa, look at them. Whoa. That's a harem if I ever seen one. They're all missing their arms. Hmm. I like it. Look at that. Look at that. How many of these have you done? It's all the same gameplay. Yeah, but it's new knowledge though. It's it's new knowledge. Uh, I've done I've done I want to say I'm halfway done, so I think we're uh uh good. We returned all the artifacts, so let's go back uh, to the castle. Let's check out the city map and see where the uh, blue pipe is. We gotta go left and then up. Let's do it. Come on, Yoshi. <laughs> Get out of here. Whoa! K82 PCF! You will be sacrificed to the erection temple? Okay. Oh shit! We gotta kill this guy. Ugh. They made it kind of hard to stomp them. They, they're so fast. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Fuck. Oh my god! Got him. Oh. What the heck? Oh my god. Uh... Bro! Two... Three... Might be five hits. What the hell? 
Four. One more, one more, one more. Five. What? How many hits? Oh my freaking god. <laughs> Why is this so hard? Die! Uh, at least he's not attacking me. There we go. Alright! We're one step closer to finding Mario. Look at this. We'll go through one at a time. Let's see where this takes us. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Whoa, where is this? Prague? Who the hell? Is that Shakespeare? I don't know. I don't know where this is. England? Is this what England looks like? It's so gray and cloudy and miserable. Oh no. Alright. Talk to me. Why is Big Ben closed today? Like the sign says, bud. Panthers, thank you! Huh? <laughs> what? Thank you for the resub, thank you, I really appreciate it. Uh, like the sign says, bud, Big Ben's minute hand was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Big Ben, the symbol of England, is located on the Houses of Parliament, England's Capitol Hill. It's officially called the Palace of Westminster, originally the Palace of Edward the Confessor. At the north end of Parliament is the clock tower, 320 feet high. The face of the tower's clock is enormous. The minute hand alone... The minute hands alone are 14 feet long. Although most people believe the clock itself is Big Ben, that distinction goes to the tower's 13-ton bell, which strikes the hour and lets London know all is well. Wait, the bell is Big Ben? The bell and, and not the not the clock tower? What? What? That's crazy. Where am I? You've landed in London in time for tea, while in England I'm known as a female Bobby. Huh? Are cops called Bobbies in England? What? This is crazy. Really? That's such a silly and fanciful name. I didn't know that. The Bobby. Righto, that's Bill Shakespeare's bust from Westminster Abbey. Damn. Hmm. Da Bobby. I wonder why they're called Bobbies. Abab? <laughs> Abab? Damn. I'm just finding Koopas to stomp on. Hey, hey, excuse me. Where am I? We landed in Heathrow. The double-decker bus driver had an English accent. Oh. What is this? To be or not to be, it looks like Shakespeare to me. Is Abby short for Abigail? Well, I, I, I don't know. Is it? You tell me. What's your best pickup line? Uh. Um. Uh. Hey, punk. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. You're asking the wrong otter. Hey, punk. So we got. Ooh, oh my god, the crown? How do they get that? Are gone today. 
My ears. Ah, fuck. Bam, 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 bam. I'm looking for, uh... Oh, they're so spread out. All right, let's go up and get that one Koopa. Yeah, because we're looking for the Minute Hand. We still need the Minute Hand. Hi, Sky. Um... Water, water all around. You're on Europe's largest island. Okay. I feel like they kind of ran out of ideas with these. They used to all rhyme. Tower of power, those little gems are the greatest treasures in England. Alright, we got this one. Why is the Tower of London closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the crown jewels were stolen. William the Conqueror built the Tower of London for several reasons. To protect London from invasion? To oversee shipping on the... How do you, how do you pronounce that? Thames? And to scare his subjects, the original tower was built around uh, 1078. It covers 18 acres on the banks of the Thame, Tem, Thames River? Thames? Oh, the Thames. At various times, the tower has been a mint, a fortress, a vault, a terrible jail, and a place of execution, famous as a showplace for England's elaborate crown jewels. Jewel House includes the largest cut diamond in the world. 530 carats. Yo, why didn't they steal that? I want to return the crown jewels. Okay, but you'll have to prove your goods are authentic. One of the things the Tower of London was not used for was a... Post office. From the tower, you can see... The Thames? At last, the crown jewels... Let's go inside. Ooh, look at that. Wow, that, that place has got to be haunted, right? They said they that it was a terrible prison and they did executions there. How many ghosts are walking around? Yeah, that doesn't look like a tower to me. Oh, uh, we, gotta, we gotta return Shakespeare. It is haunted? Whoa. Chester is weirdly good at the game, really? I'm just a good- I'm just a good listener, what can I say? I'm here to learn. Scientist. London's been the capital for 2,000 years, although in Europe, it's an island, I hear. Westminster comes from West Monastery. The statue watches kings crowned and buried. Ominous. Very ominous. Look, Gordon, ropes! You haven't gotten a single question wrong in a long time? I got a few wrong last time I played. Aw, shucks, thank you. I'm trying to- I'm trying to be, uh... I'm trying to be good about this game. Why is the Westminster Abbey closed today? Like the sign says, bud the- but the bust of Shakespeare was stolen. Uh, uh, Edward the Confessor, one-time ruler, ordered the building of Westminster Abbey, officially known as the Collegiate Church of St. Peter in Westminster, to serve as his burial place. From his death in 1066 until 1760, most British and English sovereigns were buried there, perhaps to get their money's worth. The abbey was, uh, also been the site of coronations and many royal weddings. Considered a masterpiece of Gothic architecture, the abbey has undergone many renovations. I want to return the bust of Shakespeare. Dude, I- Shakespeare's got one impressive bust. Damn. Ask away. He ordered the abbey built as his burial place. Minster means... Monastery? Right? At last. The bust of Shakespeare. You take game recommendations? What you got? What you got? What should I play? 
I can't guarantee I'll play it, but I do take recommendations. Um, let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Chance of Senar. Oh, I'll look into it. Pikmin 1 and 2. All right, I'll think about it. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, that looks crazy. Wait, there's a clock on it? Why do you need a clock when you got the freaking... We got Big Ben right there. That looks really cool. It's got a face? What do you mean? Where? Well, that's Luigi, silly. Don't be silly. Banjo-Kazooie. I do want to play Banjo-Kazooie, like, actually. Why would you not want more clocks? I don't know. I mean... I, I, I don't know. This seems wasteful to me. Still think Tunic is perfect? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still weirdly intimidated by Tunic, but I'll, I'll think about it. Please play Banjo-Kazooie. I've played Slime Rancher. I haven't played Slime Rancher 2. Where are we going? Where are we going? We are... Oh, I am way off. Oh, I gotta go all the way down for the Koopas. Alright, let's do it. Every time I hear clock, I think about a house with a cock in its balls. What? Huh? Huh? Churches invented the alarm clock so people would knew when, when it was time to pray? Oh yeah, with the bells. I guess that makes sense. Y'all know house with a cock in its balls, right? No, I have no idea what you're, what you're saying. Nice, we got the minute hand. It's weird to see Mario in a in the real world, huh? He he, but half the Mario movie was him in Brooklyn, and also he went to New Donk City. Gosh, excuse me. Uh, let's go left three and then up one. Why is Big Ben closed today? Let's check our notes really quick. Palace of Edward the Confessor, Palace of Westminster, the bell is Big Ben, and the minute hands are 14 feet long. Okay. Big Ben is a bell? Wait, what did they say? Did they- what was the last option? Did it say a fella named Ben? Big Benus? That's- that's something else entirely. That is- that is not the same thing. Uh, the- the clock tower is... Oh gosh, how, uh, how tall is the clock tower? I already forgot. How big is it? 320? Oh, shoot. Um, I feel like 320 sounds right to me. Cause that shit looks really big, right? It's definitely not 30 or 23. How big is- yeah, how big is Ben? 320. At last, I got it, I got it, I got it. Let's go inside. Don't worry, I got it. Whoa! I didn't know it was so orange. Why is it so orange? Big Ben. Pretty cool. Oh, it's got lights. Oh, so I think that's, uh, that's everything, right? Oh, I forgot to get Yoshi from the Globulator. Why are you so otter? Someone's gotta be. 
Yeah, Big Ben. Big Ben is the bell. That's like actually like I'm. Uh, that's 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 actually blowing my mind right now. Let's see. London, Dublin. Let's go to London. Yo, uh, yo. Someone ought to be. Yeah, you you get the idea. You get it. I feel lied to. Yeah. It's same. I I wonder how many Londoners know that. Probably all of them. Do they adjust Big Ben for daylight savings? Uh that's a good question. Hmm. What is... What's this new game? Oh, this game is ancient. It's super ancient. It's called Mario is Missing, and it's educational. Alright, where to next? Where to next? We're on a roll right now. It's like we're learning Vikings didn't wear horns. Wah. But Skyrim! But... 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 How to Train Your Dragon, though. Whatever, it's their loss. Horns are awesome. Where are we? It's very green here. Where is this? Morocco? Hmm. India? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Oi. Oi, Bobby. Where am I? You're in Ramsey Square, Cairo, Egypt, Africa. Oh, that's very specific. Thank you. Now I know where to go in the globulator. Heck yeah. Yeah, good guess. Cairo. Got my Yoshi. <laughs> I know, I know. I, I really do think it'd be cool if they had, like, a theme for each region of the world. But I guess I'll take it. Hey, what are you doing over here? Inventors of mummies, papyrus, and hyro. Your mommy would love a postcard from here in Cairo. Okay. What's this? The Mosque of Alabaster was built in 1830. That clock doesn't work. Okay. I bet someone stole the nose of the Sphinx. Oh, I don't know if we're finding that. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I? It's the largest city in Africa. Here to hear the riddle of the Sphinx? Yes, tell it to me. You're in 396,000 square miles of desert, but don't desert us yet. Exasperated Dark Souls, you want to fuck me so bad it makes you look stupid. Doesn't that seem from another time? King Louis swapped Muhammad Ali for an Egyptian obelisk. Huh? I'm very confused. It walks on four legs in the morning, two legs at noon, and three legs in the evening. Uh, Chester. Chest, uh, Chester the Otter is the answer. Bam. Uh, okay. Looks like we can go straight down, and we should find a lot of Koopas down there. Oops. Time. Yeah, time. Big Ben. Whoa. What do we got? Whoa, the whole ass pyramid? Why is the Mosque of Muhammad Ali closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the gingerbread clock was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. The Muhammad Ali Mosque was built by a sultan in 1430, using the Turkish style of the Ottoman Empire. Uh, its nickname, the Alabaster Mosque, comes from the valuable white stone that covers the temple's facade. 
The clock tower on the courtyard's western side was a gift to the Sultan by King Louis Philip of France in return for the stone obelisk, which now stands in front of France's Place de la Concorde. Egyptian sultans lived in the mosque until 1517. It's now only used for prayer. Is it this? I want to turn, return the gingerbread clock. Who lived in the mosque until 1517? Uh, sultans? What will you find inside the main domed building? Uh, you'll find, uh... Oh, I don't know. Sultans? Who's Cassius Clay, huh? Um, 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 um. It wasn't in 1430, really? It was in 1830. Whoa! Uh... I'm gonna go with Sult... Sultan's Crypt. At last, the gingerbread clock. We've been looking all over town. Boom. Let's go inside. The Mosque of Muhammad Ali. Really cool. I like the way it's shaped. Muhammad Ali, the boxer, as opposed to the guy the mosque was named after. Whoa, that's freaking funny, actually. That's actually hilarious. Hey, what do you think you're going, huh? Cairo sits on the split of the Nile. From here, go the river goes south for 900 miles. What's this? When you climb to the top, you put that back. You'll have a great view. Maybe you can even see your brother from up there. Wait. Oh. Everyone knows that I'm looking for Mario. Whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on. We gotta go to the Great Pyramid. She's involved. Yeah, I don't trust anybody here. Everyone seems to know just a little bit too much. Ooh, the Sphinx. Why is the Sphinx closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the claft of the Sphinx was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. The man-faced lion statue was named the Sphinx by the ancient Greeks. A sphinx is a mythical, uh, a mythical monster who liked to ask riddles, then kill those unfortunate enough to not know the answer. The great sphinx was carved from one enormous piece of limestone, 240 feet long and 66 feet high. Uh, later, the Ottoman Turks used the cat for target practice. Its nose and King Tut-style beard were knocked clean off its face. The original name meant Lord. And it is today presumed that the Sphinx was built to guard the Great Pyramids that stand behind it. Oh. Interesting. I shall return the claft. Who gave the Sphinx its name? The Greeks. Advertising executives, obviously. It's located in... Giza, right? At last. The Claft of the Sphinx. Let's go check it out. Whoa! Look at those paws. Look at those big beans. Oh my god, the Sphinx probably has the biggest beans in the world, now that I think about it. Those are, those are the biggest beans. Whoa! That's crazy. The big one, the big ones. Isn't the Sphinx older than the pyramids? Ah, uh, really? I, I kind of assumed they were all made around the same time. Aren't the pyramids like super, super old? Ali, hi! How are you? We're in Egypt right now. Like the sign says, but the top brick of the Great Pyramid was stolen. The ancient Greeks called the Great Pyramid of Giza one of the world's seven great wonders. Pyramids are elaborate tombs housing the mummified remains of the pharaohs and the fantastic treasures and paraphernalia that were buried with them to ensure a comfortable afterlife. I just did a full blue chip run and got almost 900 pearls. Whoa! 
Wait, do you get more pearls for... For getting the same color? Yeah, how are you getting so many pearls? Is it... Is there like a combo thing for the pearls? There's a multiple... Oh! Oh, that's, that's huge! What the heck? I didn't know that. Whoa. Huh. I gotta, I gotta do that. I'm gonna be playing a lot of that on the flight, I think. Um, if you get more of the same color in a row. Oh! Oh! That's without risky rewards, yeah. We, I'm gonna, I'm gonna layer that on top of risky rewards. We'll just do color chip bias, plus, like... Vending machine discount plus vending machine reroll, and then you could just like buy the same color like a million times in a row, right? I got it. I got the strat. I got the I got the strat in my mind. You must be good to like buy everything in the shop now. You've been grinding. The pyramids are 450 feet and not 4 480. What? You know what though? You know what? They didn't have Wikipedia or or other kinds of... I'm gonna assume they didn't have, like, textbooks back then, so, uh, may maybe we can forgive them. Or maybe it shrank, uh, 30 feet. Maybe it shrank by the time... from the time that this game was made. Isn't the, uh, the harsh desert wind, like, eroding the top of the pyramid, like, every day? It's gotta- it's gotta be getting smaller, yeah. Maybe it was 480 feet tall back then. Um, you need to max out your floor reroll because it'll only cost 50 to reroll your floor the first time. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Let's return the top brick of the Great Pyramid. Entrances to the Royal Pyramids always face... North? Uh, okay. The Great Pyramid uh, tips the scale at... 15 million slugs? Uh, it's gotta be... It's gotta be 2.5 million tons, right? Like, that... That shit looks really heavy. Um... At last, the top brick of the Great Pyramid. We've been looking all over town. Hell yeah. Whoa! Why is the ground so gray? Luigi must have been in a helicopter to get this view, right? How did he, how did he get so high up? Is that everything? I thought it was five million tons. How do you how do you weigh the Great Pyramids? I guess you gotta just do the math. Like if one brick weighs this much, and it's this wide, then it's gotta weigh around this much. A hundred pound... <laughs> pound! Max out vending machines because you get three of the same chip in a row. Yo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it, I get it. I see the strat. I'm gonna get so many pearls. I'm gonna get all the prills. Hmm. I think we're good to leave now. Where am I? I see where I am. Up three and then to the right two. I see. Alright, alright, we're doing good. One. Two. Three. I think that if you play this game and, and realize that they got one of their historical facts wrong, I think they should give you a refund. Like, that's the one caveat for, like, educational games, I think. It's like... It's like, if you- if you- if they got something wrong, you should get your money back. But only if you find out. I got beans in the fridge, I love beans. What kind of beans? What kind of beans we talking? Sphinx beans? What? Where are we? 
Yeah, is this... is this Japan? I'm gonna say hi to Miyamoto. They did make it look very futuristic. Everything's chrome in the future. Hey, 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 hey! Where am I? Kyoto is another big city spelled with the same letters as this one. We're in Tokyo! Why is the Sensoji Temple closed today? Like the sign says, bud! The Sensoji Temple lantern was stolen. The Sensoji Temple at the Asaku district of Tokyo was built in 640 AD. To enter the temple grounds, you must first pass the Gate of Thunder, an elaborately carved arch on which hangs the great red paper lantern sacred to the temple and its worshippers. Built in the shape of a traditional pagoda, smaller red lanterns line the arcades of the walls. The Great Red Lantern casts a rosy glow and lights the way for temple visitors. Alright. Yeah, I don't think this was developed by Nintendo. I don't think so. I'm gonna use this knowledge when I go to Japan. <laughs> Did you know the Sensoshi Temple? Um, 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 um. I do want to go to Japan, though. Where is everyone? What the heck? It's so quiet here. Alright. Looks like I gotta go down and to the left. Place Japan. Whoa! I know, I know. Japan's a popular tourist spot. For weebs. Why is the- why is the Great Buddha of Kamakura closed today? The Great Buddha's orange was stolen! The Great Buddha of Kamakura is not only the great- is not the only Great Buddha in Japan, but he is the only one you can enter by buying a ticket through a door located smack in the middle of his big brass belly. Sitting 37 feet tall, the Brass Buddha, or Daibutsu, is best honored by the faithful place fl uh, by the faithful placing flowers and oranges at his feet. The, the Daibutsu used to sit in a small wooden house, but he was rendered homeless after a tidal wave. Tsunami washed it away. No! Oops. No, no, no. Why did you go and lose Mario? Skull. No, I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. We gotta find him. Oh, Devin, hi. Thank you for the resub. Thank you. How are you? We're almost there, I think. We're almost... We're almost at Mario. And we have... Oh, we got, we got the Red Lantern! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Let's go, let's go! What if you go on a tour and one of the people on the tour goes like, Place Japan every single stop? <laughs> yeah, me. Me when I'm on a tour that's not in Japan and it's just place. And I'm... I'm that Bojack that's like looking kind of angry. Like, mm, whatever. Whatever. Where, where was the, uh... Temple again? Was that, was that the temple? I think this might be the temple. Excuse me? 930 square miles. It's the second biggest city in the world. Oh, really? The lamp lights up the temple gate in the Asako district. Let's go to the Asako district. The hollow statue has been constantly targeted with graffiti. They need to have a message at the entrance on the ground that says, Stranger, whosoever art thou, and whatsoever be thy creed. Oh, that's that's lame. Yeah, that, that's, that's lame that people vandalize the statue. Um, I want to return the Sensoji Temple Lantern. It's in the Asako district, and it's built in the shape of a... Pagoda? 
at last. The mayor of Tokyo. Nice, nice. Very cool. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's get the map up here. Uh, let's go down this way. I got a good feeling about this way. Where do you think you're going? Pop. What do we got? The orange! We found the orange. Buddha's orange. The Japanese city used to be called Edo before Emperor the Emperor changed it in 1877. The Daibutsu, or Great Buddha's house, was washed off by a tidal wave. May I have a piece of that tangerine? No! You're just hungry. I don't know, go to a 7-Eleven or something. Well, we found it. Good. We're doing really good. Whoa, look at that. Why is the Kokugikan Arena closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the sumo apron was stolen and can't reopen until it gets returned. Sumo wrestling has been both a popular art form and sport since the 6th century, originated in Shinto temples. The wrestlers began training in their early teens with, by endless practice, strenuous exercise, and the avid eating of special foods. To become serious contenders, men must reach, the enorm must reach an enormous size, 250 to 375 pounds. The aim of a match is for one contender to force the other out of the ring, or to touch the clay surface with any body part besides a foot. The wrestlers first appear in the heavily embroidered uh, aprons donated by dedicated fans, and then strip down to skimpy loincloths, okay, and a special kind of bun-like hairstyle. I mean, I think skimpy is, uh, that's like a subjective, right? I don't know, this feels like weirdly, like they're passing a value judgment <laughs> on what they're wearing. Um... Well, I do have the apron, so let me get that for you. I want to return the sumo apron. Ask away. The aim of sumo wrestling is to force the opponent out of the ring. To blink? <laughs> to blink. The wrestling arena is in the shape of a circle, I guess. At last, the sumo apron. Ooh. That's cool. Very cool. Uh, it looks like we can go up to the temple, and we'll be good. Oh, and we gotta get Yoshi, too. We gotta get Yoshi, but we, we don't need Yoshi right now. Why is the Great Buddha closed? Um, let's read this pamphlet one more time. Um, Daibutsu. Flat flowers and oranges at his feet. Uh, wooden house, tsunami. And the door is located in the middle of his big brass belly. 37 feet tall. Got it. You can pay extra to visit inside the Buddha's belly. Uh, 37 feet tall. At last, the great Buddha's orange. I woke up sick? No! And you're also sick, World Crusader? No! I hope you both feel better. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Extremely cool. Let's get Yoshi and get the heck out of here. We gotta find Mario. Into the globulator we go.
Now, where's the, uh, blue pipe? So the right three, up one. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. One, two, three. And then to the right, here it is. Doing good. I got really nauseous yesterday. I thought I was gonna faint. Oh no! Oh no. Please feel better soon. <clears throat> where are where are we? Where is this? Its capital is Brasilia, but you're not there. This place is more of a carnival, from what I hear. Brazil? Whoa. I like the color palette. Like, the color palettes in this game are really cool. Why is the Christ the Redeemer statue closed today? Like the sign says, bud. The spotlight from Christ the Redeemer statue was stolen and can't reopen until it gets returned. Standing at the top of the 2037 foot peak of Corcovado, um, the statue of Christ the Redeemer holds out his arms as if to embrace the city of Rio de Janeiro. The concrete image of Jesus Christ weighs 700 tons. In 1931, most of Rio's churches pooled their collective money and erected the statue on top of the mountain. The top of the mountain is often in a fog, but the huge spotlights keep the figure visible from every corner of the city. It's pretty dope. Why is the stream closed today? Like the sign says, bud, Chester the Otter's hat was stolen and we can't reopen the stream until it gets found. Built in 2016, Chester the Otter was originally a character design assignment from Sheridan College in Ontario. <laughs> it's like, oh. Uh. Okay. You finally made it to, the Rio, to Rio de Janeiro, the South American tropics of Brazil. What do we got here? We got the seashell. Oh, we got the spotlights. Oh, we got the spotlights. All right, all right, good, 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 good. Bald Chester? I'm literally not bald. I am visibly not bald right now. Chester doesn't have hair, or does he? What? We found the hat. The mayor of Chestertopia has given you a thousand dollars for the hat. And you may now take a photo. From what material is the Redeemer made? Play-Doh? Marble, right? What? Oh no, not marble, no! What is it made of, concrete? Play-Doh? Steel? Aw oh, man, I got it wrong. Another- Come on, Peach, you know me, I'm Luigi. You know me. It's concrete? Oh, shit. Uh, it's concrete, and the, uh, the churches have donated money to erect the statue. Bingo players? Alright. Yo! Oh my god, he looks- like he's about to fight. I don't know, he looks kind of tough. Um... Very cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, what happened to the questions? Yeah, what the heck? Wait a minute, how do I know this is a real hat? What? How do I know this hat's authentic? Question number one. Uh... 
What is Chester's favorite? Um. I don't know. <laughs> Pilk? No. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right. I'm only immersed when I'm winning. The answer is me. What's Chester's favorite amount of holes that a straw has? It's two. Yeah, you're right. There it is. This hat's authentic, all right. Not three. No, another fake. Another fake. I knew it. Dude, I love the freaking T-posing Jesus Christ sprite. Oh, there's a there's a there's an ad going on. Why don't I take a bathroom break really quick? Uh and then I'll be right back. Bum 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 bum. That was two questions. The first one was pilk. I don't even know what the question was, but that was the answer. Um, 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 um. I'll be right back. Oh, I still got my headache, Jesus. Ugh. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I thought of, uh, I thought of obscure Chester, um, an obs obscure Chester trivia question to ask. I don't know if anyone knows this. So I, I mentioned that, um, that my first, like, the first time I made Chester was for a character design assignment. Um, uh, I remember someone made, a. uh, uh like an iceberg, you know, one of those things where it gets deeper and deeper and things get more obscure. At the bottom of the iceberg was, uh, does anyone remember what group I was in? Because, um, all the, uh, students in... At Sheridan, like, the students get divided into a, a bunch of groups. A, a groups of 30 students. I don't know if anyone remembers, but... Um, it's out there what group I was in in first year. I don't think anyone knows. I knew it. This hat was a fake. It was a fake hat. Group 5? It's a fake! It's a fake! This ain't my real hat. This ain't real. Yeah, that, that one is- that one is pretty obscure, I'm not gonna lie. Are you Canadian? No, but I studied in Canada. I'm from New York. And somehow the tuition was cheaper at Sheridan than it was to study at, um, any of the art schools near me. So I lived there for a couple years. The poop group? 
What are the four answers? Uh... I want to say the four answers are... Group 1, uh, Group B, Group 3, or Group F. Those are the four answers. It's B. I was in Group B. I was in Group B! Yato got it. Yato's got my hat. Uh, yeah, I went to Vassar before I went to Sheridan. So I originally got, like, a philosophy and film degree. And then I'm like, oh, geez. Oh, geez, what am I gonna do with this degree? So I went and got an art degree. I know, I know. I know, I know, I could have studied something more practical. But, uh, yep. Here I am. So it looks like we can go all the way to the right and then down one. And then we'll find Koopas on the way. You're doing something you love? That's true, that's true. I do enjoy the things that I do. Things that I make. I guess that counts for something, huh? But, um, it probably would have been a better idea to get a more practical degree, to be honest. Hmm, no artifacts yet. I think it's hard to know what you want to study, or want to pursue, I guess. Like, how are you supposed to know what you want to do before you do it? I don't know. Everyone seems to know, but... I think it was hard for me to figure out. Like, what What if you, uh, spend, like, years of your life studying to be, like, a, uh... I don't know, a construction worker, and then you finally get there, and you realize you don't like doing that. I guess, you're, I guess that's what the research is for. I guess that's why in like med school you get to like shadow doctors and stuff and follow them around all day. Which is uh, cool, I think. I think it's cool that you do that. What the heck? Did I get all the artifacts? Oh, I, I, I did, I did. All right, let's find, let, let's see what this is. Why is the Copacabana beach closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Copacabana beach seashell was stolen. What? Going to the beach is an art form in Rio. There are different sand spots for tourists, the young and the old, the rich and the poor. Wait, what, really? Really? It's like, you gotta go to the- oh, I'm sorry, you gotta go to the poor part of the beach. I, I mean, I guess some parts are more expensive to get into. I guess that makes sense? It's just weird to phrase it that way. Certain beaches around the world are well known for surfing, shell collecting, or as in this case, people watching. The world's most famous beach, Copacabana curves 4.5 kilometers into... Uh, Guanabara... Guanabara Bay. It sits in front of the world's most densely populated urban area. Those who know say that on summer weekend, upwards of 100,000 people will spend some time on Copacabana Beach. Imagine you're going to the beach and you're told you're too poor. Yeah, and also the, there's spots for young and old people. Is that like when Larry the Lobster kicked out his own parents from the freaking Goo Lagoon? You're too old and unsightly to be on this beach. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I think I'm ready to uh, return the seashell now. Uh, hang on. Let me go to my inventory here. Change it here. 
the Copacabana Beach is world famous for people watching. Right? The name of the street that runs along the beach is... Uh... Guanabara, I guess? Oh no! 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 I got it wrong! No! Darn it. Alright, we'll come back. People watching isn't stalking. People watching is fun. Um, it's like cafe sketching. Ooh, which is, is something I miss doing. I don't know, it's not sus if you're just there and just like sitting there and looking at people. It's a thing you can do in public. As long as you're not looking creepily. Depends how you look, I guess. Um, people watching and let's try, uh, oh, shoot, I don't know. Wh which one of these? I always look creepy. Oh, well, I'm, I mean, I know you got a heart of gold, so it's okay. It's not uh, Guanabara. Is it Avenida Rio? I tried Gu Guanabara. That was the first one I tried. I feel like Copacabana is too obvious of an answer. So it's either Atlantica or Rio. Maybe Atlantica? Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. Heck yeah. Lucky guess. But not that lucky, because I got it wrong the first time. Wow, look at those buildings. They look like... Those buildings look like stock photo buildings, like they're... They're just rectangles. Rio means river, and de means of. I wonder what Janeiro means. Sugarloaf rises 1300 meters over Guanabara Bay. If you don't replicate that, we'll have to walk the whole way. Huh. Alright, where to next? What's our next destination? Oh, we gotta go this way. Why is the Sugarloaf Mountain closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the Sugarloaf Mountain cable car was stolen and we can't reopen until it gets returned. Sugarloaf Mountain stands on the left side of Rio's great balloon-shaped bay. Two cable cars carry visitors 1,300 meters above both the city and Guanabara Bay. Once atop the mountain, visitors can get off at the lower vista and watch samba troops perform at cliffside restaurants, or they can go all the way to the top. From the height, the city spreads out below like a carpet of lights. The granite mountain got its name from Portuguese sailors who swore it resembled cone-shaped loaves of sugar processed from Brazilian sugarcane. That's a cute name. It's kind of an adorable name. I shall return the Sugarloaf Mountain cable car now. It got its name from Portuguese sailors, and it is, um, Guanabara Bay. Alright! Sugarloaf Mountain. I don't know, it doesn't look like a Sugarloaf to me. Visitors can get off? Well, I mean, it, they didn't say whether they should. Only that you could. You could do a lot of things. Oops. No! Come on, Yoshi. How is Yoshi walking all, all across the ocean? I think we can leave now. We need to go all the way up and then all the way to the left. Alright, got it. <laughs> the Yoshin. <laughs> the Atlantic Yoshin. There's more than one Sugarloaf Mountain. Oh. We 
we gotta go up one more and then to the left. I'm bunny hopping. You go faster when you bunny hop. All right, one more, uh, one more town. I don't know if there's another uh, part of the castle after this. Whoa! All right, all right. I know where this is. We're in New Donk City. Heck yeah. Where am I? You're in the home where the buffalo roam and the skies are not cloudy all day. Oh, okay. Drink. What does that say? Cool, cool. Yum! Alright. That's a really scary billboard, though. Where am I? The country is divided into 50 states, but the nation's capital isn't in any of them. Okay. If Ma Mario's gotta be here, right? I mean, where else would he be? This sounds like New York to me. Legend has it, the colonists brought Manha bought Manhattan for $24. What? I mean... I mean, they're colonists, though. I mean, I feel like... I feel like if it, was, if it wasn't a done deal, they would have just taken it, though, to be honest. Why is the Rockefeller Center closed today? Like the sign says, bud, the statue of Prometheus was stolen and we can't reopen it until it gets returned. Radio City Music Hall was made world famous by the dance troupe, the Rockettes. The all-female group was, start, uh, was started in Missouri in 1925. They took their name from the Roxy Theater, the orig their original New York City home. The Rockettes have performed their high kicks in Radio City since its opening day in 1932. The music hall was built to be the largest and showiest theater in the world, despite the depression, which was then at its worst. The theater is a famous Art Deco landmark. Ooh. Hmm. One dollar then is many dollars now. True, true. And now you can't even buy a burger for you can't even freaking. The dollar menu is like a freaking. More than a dollar menu now. You know what I'm saying? Why is the Empire State Building closed today? I want to return King Kong? What? Like the sign says, but King Kong was stolen and we can't reopen it. I feel like you don't want King Kong on the great, the freaking, freaking Empire State Building. Named after New York's nickname, the Empire State Building stands 1453 feet tall. At 102 stories, it's the third tallest building in the world and is served by 73 elevators. 73? Damn. It would take 30 minutes to climb the 1,860 stairs. The express elevator will carry you to the 80th floor in under a minute. While King Kong is a fictional figure, the resident window washer can be seen daily climbing the portable scaffolds, which enable her to move easily around the five acres of windows. Each pane gets washed once a month. A window washer? I don't know, that, that, that looks like the actual King Kong to me. Okay. Um, I, I want to return the King Kong. 
I mean, I don't know. I mean, wasn't he attacking the city? I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like he belongs in, like, jail or something, right? W wasn't he, like, kidnapping people and stuff? Or at least, like, a zoo. I looked up King Kong window washer. The only result is Mario is missing. Did they just make that up? He was kidnapped himself from his... Oh, true, true. That is true. Hmm. Alright, well. We can return him to... The Empire State Building. I gotta make sure this is authentic. Okay. Uh... Uh, it's 102 stories. And it's located in Manhattan. Not Kongsville. Manhattan. At last, King Kong. We've been looking all over town. The mayor has authorized me to present you with $1,960. Thank you, uh, Rudy Giuliani. Very nice. Where's the monkey? Where did you put the monkey? I wonder if it's a statue? I don't know if there's a statue of King Kong in the Empire State Building. I, I'm just... I, I'm not really sure if that's, if that's a thing. According to Wikipedia, the Empire State Building is number 54 now? Damn, we're slipping! So nice they named it twice. New York, New York. Damn, it went from three, number three to 54 in the span of like 30-ish years. look like oh oh well, yeah i mean i guess oh yeah if you if you rotate this way i guess kind of looks like new york where's the brooklyn bridge okay okay um all right let's go down It fell down. What? Because of King Kong? This version of New York looks like in looks like it's in bad condition. No, no, it no, it actually looks like this. <laughs> it does look like this though. It's made up of five boroughs. This borough is Manhattan. I saw a Koopa. Boom. Thanks for asking one of New York's finest. You're in New York City. Okay, okay. Uh, let's get Yoshi here. Globulator time. We're going this way. New York City. This is Montreal, right? Yeah. Shouldn't the cops be in the subways? Yeah, what are you doing? They're everywhere, though. Um, let's check the map one more time. Uh, looks like we are... Oh, we gotta go this way. New York City. Give me a pizza. Yo, they stole the Statue of Liberty's torch? Damn. Where's the pizza eating rat? Right here. You're looking at him. What? Oh, oh, it's uh, the Prometheus. 
the statue of Prometheus. Can you show your house? Well, I don't live in the city, but I wonder if I can find my grandma's house. Hang on. Wait a minute, I don't want to dox my grandma. Alright, we can't go to my grandma's house. We can't go to Grandma Otter's house. Um. <clears throat> Alright. I want to return the torch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, oh, dude, you know what? I, I'm freaking- I'm a New Yorker. I don't- I don't need to read the pamphlet. Ask away. Why- what does the lady hold in her hands? Uh... Oh, shit. Um, a torch in the Declaration of Independence. Ms. Liberty looks a lot like... The sculptor's mom? Wait, I don't know this. Who's Lily Langtree? Uh... Mary Todd Lincoln? Marie Antoinette? The... I don't know. I... Who do they base the Statue of Liberty off of? The sculptor's mom? Whoa, whoa really? <laughs> what? What the heck? That's... that's crazy. What? I did not know that. Is that true? Or is that another made-up thing like King Kong? Damn, okay. I didn't know the Statue of Liberty was a MILF. Only in New York City, baby. That's New York City. Alright, now we gotta go to, uh... Uh, Rockefeller Center, which is up here. Oops, no, I, I think I went too far. Hang on. No, no, I went too far. Drink cool, cool. Yum! Wait, I- did I do this one already? Which one was this? Oh, this is the Empire State Building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it, got it, got it. I gotta go this way. There it is. That's what I was looking for. Alright. Uh... Right, right, the Rockettes. Right, 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 right. 1932, they're originally from Missouri. They took their name from the Roxy Theater. Okay. It overlooks... Prometheus. No, it is Prometheus. And... It closes one day a year because of, uh... The... So the- huh? The street will remain private property? I don't know. The ice skating rink is closed. And the street cleaners need a holiday. Um... Huh. Okay. I guess closing one one day a year lets you be private property or something. Whoa. Big tree. Is that everything? We got the torch. We got the Empire State Building. Yep. I think we can leave now. Goodbye, King Kong. They really couldn't think of they really couldn't think of anything else to put in the Empire State Building except King Kong. That's so wild to me. Let's go down. Alright, 
to the left and then down one. Okay, all right. We're, re we're really getting there. It's really happening. 95 MHL 78. We might find Mario now. Let's kill Roy. This is Roy, right? I don't remember all the Koopaling's names. I like this one, though. Oh my god. I wonder how, I wonder what the speed run for this game is. Nice, nice, nice. That was clean. Really clean. Let's find Maria. Whoa. Mario, what are you doing behind there? What the heck? There you are. We found Mario! Wait a minute. Why is the music so scary? No! <laughs> Bowser, you... Oh. Holy shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> Damn, I never- I never seen Bowser, like, not put up a fight before. Gary, Thank you, Bowser. Yeah, why do they make him look like that? Yeah, get out of here. Oh, he fucking froze to death. Alright, yo! Uh, software design. Yo! <laughs> we fucking did it, yo! God damn, we fucking killed Bowser. Damn, Vicky Sidley, you did a great job on this. This game looks incredible. Damn, Erica Benson, Tansy Brooks, Jeff Griffith, uh, Dan Guerra, Wes Jenkins, and Chris Coslow. Nice, nice job. This is this is good. This is a fun game. Where else did you go besides New York City? Oh, we went all over. We went to freaking... We went to uh, Egypt. We went to Rome. We went to uh, France. We went to uh, Japan. We went to Rio de Janeiro. We went at, We were looking everywhere, but Mario was in the castle the whole time. Wait, why did we need to go to all those places if... If Mario is just hiding behind a wall. We want to place Japan and place Brazil and place America. Yo, uh, licensed by Nintendo. They should do more shit like this, to be honest. Yeah, we went all over the world. That was so fun. I like that. You are Mr. Gay? Wait a minute. What? What? I hate when the ground opens up and swallows me whole. They should release DLC. They should! I feel like there's more places now. I feel like they made more places since then. Mario keeps freaking going to the back rooms. You wait here, I'm gonna find him. Wait, d my Yoshi! <laughs> uh, alright, alright. There's no more. This is it. But there was something else I wanted to do today, so I don't want to end just yet. Um, I found this game that looks really, really short, and it's free on Steam. It's called Rental, and I wanted to check it out. All the reviews are, like, played for half an hour, so I wonder if we can beat it really fast. Because we've only been live for under three hours. I want to see if I can do that. Let me switch, uh... Let me switch out of this really quick. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. Um, 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 I may as well run the ad break now, because we just finished Mario is Missing. Thanks for, um, helping me out throughout this whole game, by the way. I appreciate all the help.
I'm gonna run the ad a little bit early so we can not have to worry about that later. And um, yeah, give you an opportunity to, you know, get your bathroom break in, refill your water, get some snacks. Uh, let me run that right now. Um, also, yeah, thank you again for, um, sitting through the ads, everyone. Um, it's just, it's a way to, to get rid of the pre-roll ads, and that way if someone is, uh, completely new and they want to check me out, then they don't have to sit through, like, a whole minute of whatever obnoxious ad is going on, so. Hopefully it'll get some, we can get some fresh faces around here because of that. Uh, let me get, let me close the game here. I'll, uh, start the music again. And we'll wait out the ad, and then we can start. Yeah, this game is called Rental. I just thought it had a really cool art style. Rental Steam. Game. Rental on Steam. A short and spooky adventure game about the dangers of renting a house in an unknown place. And it's free, so why not? Let's check it out. Let me change the stream category. We found Mario. Now checking out this other game. I wonder if this is on here. Rental. Oh, it is on here. Cool, cool, cool. Do, 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 do. Chester is missing the new game. I think I've seen this game. Yeah, I saw it on. It was a. Um, someone posted like a clip of this game, and it got like kind of viral on Twitter. But I had to dig a bit to find out what game it was. Um, but it looks cool. It looks like a really small game, so we can probably beat it really quick. And then we'll call it. Um, CDI games would have been great with just a little bit more oversight by actual Nintendo peeps, I think. Yeah, I agree. I mean, those games are so interesting. They're just janky as hell. I think the biggest proof of those remakes that came out not long ago was that it looked... ...kinda decent. Yeah, RZ came out too. Yeah, RZ looked really good. I think our set is good, yeah. I haven't seen it. Oh, okay. I did discover this game through Twitter. We got 30 more seconds left on the uh, ad clock. Um, I guess I'll take this opportunity to say again the, uh, that um, we got an art raffle going on uh, for a chance to be one of these chibi characters in the background here if you want to be permanently in the pool of people that could randomly appear behind me. Um, tier 3 subs. Um, they're called recurring subs because they're not gift subs, but um, you only need to subscribe this month, so you don't actually have to renew it. Although I would appreciate it. But yeah, self-subscribed tier 3 subs get a chance to win. I'll do the art raffle after I come back. So, the first stream I come back, I'll pick the winners. Um, but anyone who subscribes at some point this month, even when I'm away, I will, uh, will be counted for that. And also, um, all tier 3 subs will be credited as supporters on my, um, video game that I'm working on. I'm working on a really short dating sim, question mark? Uh, that'll be out at some point. I don't want to say when, though, because I've already delayed it twice. And uh, at this point, I feel like I may as well just not say when I, when I think it'll be done, because I don't want to have to delay it again. Uh, so yeah, no, tomorrow is going to be my last stream of the month. Uh, tomorrow. I will be streaming tomorrow. I'm thinking of playing uh, Hylix tomorrow. I don't know if that's going to be fun or what. But uh, I've had Hylix for a while, and it looks like a weird RPG, and I want to play it. Uh, and I've seen Germa beat it in like five and a half hours. I wonder if it'll take me that long. It'd be nice if I could beat it. Valentine's Day 2025. I hope it doesn't take me that long. It was supposed to be for Valentine's Day, but at this point, I just want to get it done. Um, I'm still having a lot of fun with it, though. 
Um, but I won't be able to work on it um, when I'm away. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so now that we're back, welcome back. I'm only playing this game now. Let me uh, pause the music and we can get started. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's move this over here. All right. Let's go back here. Game full screen, rental. Boom. It's launching, it's launching, it's launching. There's a Steam sale going on right now. Is there something I should pick up on the Steam sale? Lies of P? Oh, it's still 45 bucks, though. That's a lot of money. All right, here we go. Give it a second. I feel like I've reached the point where I, I don't even know what to buy on, on a Steam sale anymore. Like, for a while, I was just buying a bunch of shit, and now it's like, well, I kind of got every game. I ran out of games. Halo Collection? I ha That's what I'm saying. I have that, and I haven't even played it yet. I literally bought the Halo Collection years ago. Fallout 1 and 2. Hmm. Is that on sale right now? I might actually pick that up. Um, I have Orange Box. Pikmin 1 and 2. I'm saying Steam. Stalker? Shadow of Chernobyl. Huh, interesting. Uh, every Bethesda RPG aside from Fallout 4 is less than 10 bucks. I have basically all of them. Oh, I do want to play Fallout 4 soon, though. Uh, I do want to play that. All right, let's uh, let's start this. Let's see. Does my controller work? It's not responding to my controller. I guess it's keyboard only. Let me put this away. Whoa. Developed by Lonely House. Banners of Ruin. Oh, I'll check it out. I like the art style of this game. It's like a retro art style. Rental. Press to play. Press what to play. Anything, I guess? It's like creepy retro Animal Crossing style. Oh, I can walk! I can walk! Whoa, look at this! Whoa! Why are the wheels spinning backwards? I don't know. Don't ask these things. Our good old Suzuki carry. Let me adjust my audio levels. What do you think, Umi? It's not too shabby. Umi! Whoa. You want to play with me? No. The door is open. Could the rental man already be here? I got an achievement for speaking to my family. Could you check for him inside while we unload the car, dear? He's got to give us the keys. What a nice vacation we're going to have. Let me just double check that the audio is, uh, not the audio, the, the dialogue. Okay, it loops. It loops after two. Changed your mind? If you pay close attention, you can hear the ocean from here. I can't hear it. Speak to your family twice. Oh, whoa, I got another achievement. Can I, can I sprint? I shouldn't stray too far. Speak thrice? I don't think I can. Yeah, there, there's no, there's no speak thrice. So I can't uh, sprint. I think. Let's go inside. Whoa! It's got that like PS1 cam. Thank you, Bowser. Thank you. 
closed the door? Hey, open up! But I'm the only one inside. It won't open? I should find that dental... R rental? Uh, rental man. I should find... Oh, got that already. Whoa, this camera angle's crazy. Okay. Is this gonna get scary? The windows look kind of low budget. Camera's a little... a little close. What's this? What's that noise? Whoa! Oh, the door opening. Okay, okay, okay. Nah, don't be scared. What's there to be scared of, huh? Got the bathroom here. Oh. It's a nice house. Whoa, what the heck? Who are you? You! Did you come from the outside? I've been trapped here for weeks, months, I don't even know anymore. Uh, I need to get the keys. My parents are... Forget about your parents, you'll never see them again anyway! Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exorcise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless rental man. But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? I... You just need to find the artifacts. It's, uh, let me see... Six crosses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. Three candles, and then... What? Wait, I, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck. A ghost? Is he a ghost? There's nothing in the drawer. Nothing here. It looks like a good place to hide. Uh, why are you telling me that? Wonder if 90DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. There's something in the drawer. Oh, <gasps> found a key. There's nothing left in the drawer. Wish I could sleep on a bed this big. Let me check the toilet. Not time for- not the time for a hot bath. I'd rather not. Gotta wash my hands. It's a little weird to control. No dirty dishes here. Is there anything to eat? Guess not. No problem. No problem here. Four chairs, huh? My, my little brother should eat outside. What does that mean? Hmm. Let me- Whoa! Yeah, it's like I lose, like, track of what direction I'm going because of that. What's in here? Oh! Found two candles! Guess I have to find the stuff. Some random woman with a baby? Oh, this texture looks so meaty. There's always stuff between the cushions. Found a candle! The just dust bunnies left between these cushions. Dust bunnies? Windows are low budget still. No problem here. The table is floating? Fair enough. Eh, fair enough. Yep, still floating. I think, uh, we gotta go here. Watch my- oh, is there something in the corner? I can use this to reach high places. Whoa! I don't feel so well. What? Huh, there's nothing in there. Oh. 
This one was easy. Found a cross. Oh. It's not the time to take a nap. Just some clothes my dad would wear. Wait, well, they haven't even gotten inside yet. Now this guy looks angry enough. Found angry man. I guess he does look kind of angry in this picture. The window looks kind of low budget. This game is called Rental. It's uh, free on Steam. It's just like a short little game, I think. But I really like the art style. I love the vibe. I feel like something bad might happen, though. A woman behind bars. Weird taste in decoration. What? Woman behind bars? Okay. Don't be scared. What are you, a weenie? Are you a weenie? You're not a weenie. Now it's not the time to be a weenie. What am I missing? How do I check? Inventory, E, R, G, J. I can't check like what I have. What's this? There's, there's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid too. What is happening? Should I hide? Oh, there's some cross object in here. Okay, okay. Is there anything else? Yeah, no need to diss the kid. What the heck? What gives? I thought I could maybe use the stool to reach the table for something, but I guess not. Okay. It does look meaty, I'll give you that. Oh shit! What the heck? Who is that? Am I supposed to hide? It doesn't look like I'm dying, so I, I guess we're okay. Kermit? Well, we just saw some legs. How do you know whose legs those are? Okay. It doesn't look like you can hurt me, so there's no reason for me to be scared. What am I missing? It, I don't even have to run, it just stops. Like, I'm not able to move and then it goes away. Yeah. See? Nothing bad. There's a secret room? How do I get to the secret room? If I were a secret room, where would I be? Behind one of these closets, maybe? Are you maybe leading me to the secret room? Or maybe I have to not get caught for a while? Hmm. Excuse me, excuse me. Where is the secret room? Behind the TV? Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll have to keep looking. The chair looks kind of Among Us. Yo, they've been announcing who's going to be in the new Among Us show. Isn't it wild? I hope the show is good. I'm kind of like imagining something on par with like the Cubhead show. Like that's kind of what I'm expecting anyway. I just know that Elijah Wood is green. Green among us. And I don't remember who else was in it. It's the same showrunner as Infinity Train. Oh yeah, yeah, that's gotta be good then, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like you could just as easily make the Among Us show like a meme, like, throwaway show. Like, oh, whatever, you know, like, Among Us was big back then, and they'll watch it anyway. We don't actually have to make it good. But if it's by Infinity Train guy, like, it could actually, it could actually be really good. I've, I've heard a lot of good things about Infinity Train, but I still gotta, uh, still gotta watch it. But where... Where is the secret room? I'm walking around in circles here. I think maybe I have to not get caught. Ugh. Ah, damn it. I'm just gonna hit spacebar every corner I could find. Oh, wait, I haven't been in this room yet. Cute necklace. Oh. Oh, I'm wearing the necklace. Boring picture. Use the key. Close, close. Ah, a cross thingy. Oh, I've interacted with all the items in the house according to my achievement. Okay, well, if I've interacted with everything, then maybe I can leave. But I've, but I, but I found the stuff. I found the stuff though. And I have the cross. Wait, is that a new door? What? Arrive at the labyrinth? What? What the hell? Oh shit. Oh fuck. This is crazy. I'm so happy. Um, what the hell? Where am I going? This is nuts. Uh, I don't even know what's a mirror and what's not. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh, that's- that's sick, though. What do I feel like I'm being trapped in this house? I feel like I'm going in the labyrinth and not out of it. Only two left. Was there another one over here? No, I don't think so, I don't think so. Let me just double check. Nah, nah. Let's turn around. I see it. I see it. I see it. That kind of melted my brain for a second. All right. Well, you got- all you gotta do, right, is, uh, hug the left wall and you'll find your way out of any maze, right? So let me do that. Is it too late for me to hug the left wall? Oh! Oh, there's something over there. Wait. 
Where is that? Oh, there it is. Huh? How come I can't pick it up? Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Only one left. Someone watched the McDonald's Halloween movie? What? What is the McDonald's Halloween movie? Huh? That sounds really good. All right. They say the same thing in those weirdly animated McDonald's movies. McDonald's movies? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Alright, we gotta find one more cross. We're almost there. Where would the cross be? It's weirdly quiet in here. So this is the start, right? Yeah. Okay. I've never seen them. Yeah, they, they were done. Oh, wait, I've heard of them. I've heard of them. The Rugrats looking ones. Yeah. Ugh. I, you know what? I'm not nostalgic for the Rugrats because I've never watched it, but like that art style wigs me out. The Rugrats art style is like weird. Why do they make it so like weird? Rugrats art style weirds me out. It's like kind of gross looking. And they look even more gross in 3D. They made like the, the 3D Rugrats show at some point and like they looked freaking crazy. Those are freaky ass babies, yeah. I mean, I heard the show was good, but man, what? Some of those 90s shows have the craziest art style ever. Like, Wild Thornberries had a wild art style. What, what was that show with the monster with that was holding his own eyeballs? Like, that shit looked crazy, too. Was it, like, the same guy that drew all those things? You don't like the Rugrats art? I, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Oh, it's called Ah Real Monsters. Oh, the same studio, yeah. You know, I guess the thing that surprises me the most is that, like... I get I guess how like prolific that that style was cuz it doesn't immediately strike me as like a very like commercialized art style that that people will instantly respond to, right? Like it seems a little a little niche, a little gross. I don't know if it was like if there was an art movement or something going on, like if it was like underground comics or something like I don't know why it looked like that. You know, now nowadays I see the bean mouth and I'm like, oh, thank God. Thank God, a normal looking cartoon. Now this, this is a cartoon. Will you show me Rugrats? Like, let, like if I had never seen Rugrats before and you showed that to me, I'd be like, what is this, like, avant-garde shit? But that was, that was normal back then. Yeah, Ren and Stimpy was kind of weird too. That guy was a weirdo though. That was a weird guy. We're looking for uh, the final cross. It should be hung up on the wall somewhere. I just gotta find my way around this maze. Um, one show that I really liked, that I guess I guess technically has a weird art style. Like, um, I'm a big Ed, Ed and Eddie fan. That show uh, is kind of awesome. Yeah, Curse the Cowley Dog also, I guess, was technically weird, but... 
I don't know. It made sense for that show to be weird. Like, it's... It had a weird vibe. Couldn't get into Ed show? No! I love that show. I feel like it just... Just kind of gets it. I don't know. It felt kind of down to earth, I guess. It was like kids being fuckers. Being weirdo, weirdo kids. And it wasn't like talking down to its audience or anything. Like, it really felt like... I don't know. It, it felt like a lived experience to me. Oh, I wish I wa uh, watched Rocco's Modern Life. I, I never watched it. There were a lot of cartoons I missed out on because I was a Cartoon Network baby and not like a Nickelodeon baby. Um, but I've always like wanted to see them. I've heard really good things about Rocco's Modern Life. I liked Ed, Ed and Eddie. My mom never let me watch it because they used they used the word stupid. Damn, I feel like a lot of cartoons use the word stupid. Like Spongebob. I didn't grow up with jack shit except Arthur. Damn, see, that's the thing though. I never even had Arthur growing up. I don't know why. I just never changed the channel. What's that show? There's a show, there's like a Canadian show that I've never heard of until I... Um went to Canada. What's it called? It's called, um, let me see if I can find it so I don't get it wrong. It's called, um, Cyber 6. Has anyone seen that show? I haven't I haven't watched it, but I I like looked it up cuz I didn't know what my friends were talking about. And I'm like, "What? This show looks so fucking good. I want to watch this shit." I don't think we had that. Yeah, Cyber 6, you got it. How did you know? It ended far too early. Yeah, it looks like fucking really good. I'm like, I gotta watch this. We gotta do a Cyber 6 watch party at some point. I've never seen this in my life. Well, you never seen Jack... You said you said it yourself. You, you haven't seen Jack shit. Um, but doesn't it look so good? Adventure Time was after my time. Adventure Time was a good one. I feel like that was like... There's like pre-Adventure Time cartoons and, like, post-Adventure Time cartoons. Ninny, thank you! Thank you for the raid! Uh, thank you, thank you! Welcome on in. How was your stream? We're playing this game that's called Rental. It's called Rental. We're playing this girl. And we're trying to find crosses? We've, we've walked into a rental house, and I guess it's haunted. And now we're inside this mirror maze, and, uh... Yeah, we're still looking for Mario. I think Mario's got to be in here somewhere. Where, uh, Where's Mario? Honestly, I think I might be almost done with the game, but I... I'm, look, there's one more cross that's hidden around here somewhere, and I don't know where it is. I just kind of been walking around in circles. And it's kind of trippy, because everything's a mirror, and I don't know if I'm looking at a real thing or if I'm looking at a reflection. I guess if I see myself, I'm looking at a reflection. I died at level 27 of order. No, you can do it. You can do it. I believe. Dang, it hurts to die so late. I believe in you. Sometimes you gotta get lucky. Gotta get real lucky. Uh, but welcome on in. Welcome. Uh, hello everyone. Um, I'm Chester. Um, I draw sometimes. Sometimes I play video game. We just beat Mario's missing. We found Mario. We return the King Kong to the Empire State Building, which is a thing. Don't know. Um. Now we're playing this. And you might- this might just be another half hour of me walking around in circles. Uh, with no music whatsoever. Oh! Oh! Wait, never mind! We just found it! Alright! The last one! Now what? 
Now what do we do? I wanted to watch Adventure Time. I was watching a clip on my phone. It was the episode where there's the horse looking at them. Finn calls the horse stupid, and my mom forbade me from watching it again. Damn. I, I, I guess... I guess a lot of parents don't like when cartoons use the word stupid. Oh, <gasps> I found the door. Let me check around the corner. No, no, no. We found all the crosses. We found all the crosses. We can get out of here now. The door is open. Um... According to my achievements, I've arrived at the Ritual Circle. What? Oh, right, we gotta perform the Ritual, because we're trapped inside this house. And our parents are waiting outside. Yeah, this is, uh, this is normal. This is fine. Just normal rental house stuff. Let's just put down all the stuff we found. I couldn't watch Spongebob because they said the word dummy. What? Cartoons can't say the word dummy anymore? Come on. You can't shield your kids from the word dummy forever. I feel like they say way weirder stuff in Spongebob. Bum, 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 bum. And they literally say stupid. And they also say... Dolphin noises. Crabs is a... <laughs> Squidward smells good. St. <laughs> Patrick, your genius is showing. Yeah, like, they, uh... Sp <laughs> Spongebob is the one where I'm like, all right, I get it. But I feel like being for... Being, being forbidden from watching Spongebob is detrimental to your growth as a child. Oh yeah, the Panty Raid episode. That one was a little crazy. I don't know what they were thinking with that one. I wasn't allowed to watch the Smurfs because there was a Smurf that said, I hate. That's just like true to life though, you know? There's people out there that are like that. You know, Smurfs, Smurfs is like a, it's like a metaphor for real life. Like what, are you not gonna let your kid go outside because there's a guy, there's a guy in the neighborhood that hates everything? I'm thinking about that Germa clip where he's like, wait a minute. The Smurfs are Andy's. <laughs> There's like Grumpy Smurf, Grumpy Andy. <laughs> Have you watched Angry Beavers? Oh, I've only seen clips of Angry Beavers. That show looked really good. Wait, how do I start? How do I begin the ritual? What do we do? The roommate beavers? Uh, well, what does Bowser think about the angry beavers? Has Bowser seen the angry beavers? Bowser, what do you think? Guess he hasn't seen it. Oh, oh, he has seen it. Okay, okay. Interesting theory. Thank you, Bowser. My dad, my dad banned us from watching Adventure Time because we we're, because Finn said he was gonna beat up or kill the Ice King's grandma. What? Did he say that? Damn. Damn, Finn. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Okay, everything is placed. 
I got an achievement for beating the game in less than 10 minutes. I feel like it's been longer than 10 minutes, though. I swear I was walking around that maze in, for like 20 minutes. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Chester 4.0 becomes a benevolent god. Pir Pirica Pirilala Poporina Peperuto. Whoa. Whoa. I think the game might be broken. Yeah, I was totally playing this game for like half an hour. Hello, Earth to Umi? Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack what we can. Oh, never mind. The door is open. Could you go check? I don't think we should go inside that house. The end. <laughs> Aw. Finished first run? Wait, what? How many times can you play this game? Ooh. Made for a 32-bit jam, 2022, yo. Anamita Project 2024. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, I, I gotta see if there's any more content because it said finished first run. Maybe we can see how fast we can beat it. All right, let's go again really quick. I know where everything is. I missed the entire ending. Well, here's your chance to see it again. Okay. Let me see if there's anything around the corner here. Yeah, maybe there are more endings. Alright. Let's go back inside the house. The rental home. Is there anything else around here? My soul could have been trapped inside this house forever. Yeah, let's find the rental man first. It looks like you couldn't really interact with anything until then. Where was he? He wasn't here. Bum, bum, bum. There he is. You come from outside. I've been trapped here for weeks, months. I don't even know anymore. Uh, I need to get the keys. My parents are- Forget about your parents! You'll never see them again anyway, unless... You'll have to perform a ritual to exercise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just a helpless rental man. But you, you're a little girl. Who else could do it better? I, you need to find the artifacts. It's the, let me see, six crosses, a woman behind bars, some angry man, no, not me, three candles, and then... <gasps> Wait, I think you should know. There appears to be a secret room somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it, but the stuff, some stuff is probably in there. Good luck. Huh. I did beat it, but it said finished first run, so I want to see if I can do it again. I, I feel like that's the kind of thing you would s you wouldn't say unless there was other runs. Okay, grab that. Wash my hands. Man doesn't look angry. Floating table. Okay, thank you. Found a candle. Do 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 found two candles. So we got all the candles. I know where the angry man is. Okay. Yeah, there's a ghost in here. 
But it can't seem to hurt us. There's a cross in there. Try not grabbing the cross necklace. Oh, but doesn't it count as a cross, though? It counts as a cross, right? I'll see if I can grab it last. If I don't- if I don't need it, then I'll go through the door without it. Yeah, so- oop. So there's the cross, I'm not gonna get it. Yeah, maybe there's a bad ending. For not being protected. This guy looks angry. It's not time to take a nap. Some clothes. There's the woman behind bars. <gasps> oh! Oh, we don't have the cross now. I feel like we're gonna get the bad ending. Uh-oh. That's not good. I'm still happy though. Bum, 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 bum. I gotta make I gotta make sure I don't pass any crosses. Oop, found one. Two left. Let's go in here. Oop, found another one. Only one left. Okay. Ah, oh, we're missing another one. It's always that last one. This game could be more scary if your reflections acted differently. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I haven't been looking very closely. For all I know, they could have been doing weird stuff. But I know I can't die, so... I'm already not scared. Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's look around here. What are we missing? What corner haven't I walked into yet? I like this mirror effect though. It's so it's so cool. Hmm. Gotta be around here somewhere. Whoop! Hi, hi, me. These controls—they're like tank controls. I have to like turn around and then walk forward. There's no way to walk sideways. Thank you for the pets, thank you. We're almost there. Hang in there, chat. We're almost there. We're getting there. Oh! Oh! Found it. The last one. Now let's find the door. The final door. There it is. The door is open. What's gonna happen? Maybe I'll become like the new ghost. I have everything. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Okay, everything is placed. 
What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Pirica, Pirilala, Popolina, Pepperuto. Whoa. Whoa. Umi, are you listening? I said the seaside fog is getting denser. Did you see? We're almost there. What? We went further back in time? What? What? What does that mean? Huh. I like it. I like it a lot. Very cool. Hi, Manny. What? I, I guess we got both endings? I don't- I don't know. I don't know what else could be done differently. I didn't get any achievement this time. Okay. Maybe it's like a time loop. Okay, you know what? I think it's like... The bad ending is the time loop, because you're stuck in the car, and you're gonna go there and do the same thing over again. But the good ending is, like, you telling them that you don't want to go inside, thus breaking the loop. I think that's what that is. I like it! I really, really love this art style. Retro 3D art style. It's probably an end counter, and every time they give you more context of what happened before- Really? I- I don't know. Alright. Alright, alright. Alright, I'm going back in. I'm not gonna talk to them this time. Let's do it really quick. I- I, I gotta see. Should I pick up the cross or not? Nah? What do you think? Yeah, speed run time. What's our- what's our opinion about the cross? I don't think there's anything up there. Um, 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 um. Let's go in here. There's something between the cushions. Maybe, maybe if you like beat it before, like, before you're caught by the ghost, maybe something happens. Cause like sometimes the ghost shows up. Darn it. Well, there goes that run. I feel like it's impossible to, uh... Uh... Find everything before the ghost finds you, right? Hi, August. Hi. We're doing this game for the third time. It's a very short game. You could be in ten minutes. But I don't know if I should pick up the cross, because this, this seemed like an optional thing. Well, we're finding crosses, but the necklace. Maybe I'll do it. The dev says if you've gotten all the achievements in the game and you finished the game twice, you've seen all the content. Okay. Alright, well, we can wrap it up just to be sure. It's not a very long game. Speed run. Found the key. Oh, yeah, now, now we can go back into the room. Into, into the room with the closet. I think you can finish without speaking to the man. No, no, they won't let you pick anything up until you find him. So that... That's one thing you definitely can't do. Got the cross. 
then there is a woman behind bars here. Okay. What else am I missing? Is this a new Resident Evil? Uh, yeah, it's like, uh... It's like Silent Hill. Oh, I think we did it. I'm just- I want more! I want more of this game. I want- I gotta check if they made any other games. Alright. Resident Bunny. Okay, we found one cross. It's that last one that always trips me up. I know I skipped a hallway, but... Maybe by going down this hallway, I'll find it faster. Oh, there it is. And then... And then... And then what? Should I backtrack? Why are you playing it again? Cuz! Cuz we weren't sure if we found all the content yet. Wait a minute! Oh, it's locked. It's locked. I gotta find that last cross. I thought I could maybe go in early. I, j I just gotta be sure. We need to perform the ritual one last time. No, I'm not being critical. I think this is really good. I, uh, yeah, it feels like a game jam game. This feels really, really impressive for a game jam game. With the art style and everything. I don't know. I have played Pseudo Regalia. I haven't played the map update. I love Pseudo Regalia. Love that game. Very good. I can't wait for their next one. I'm making a game right now in RBG Maker. Yo! I'm excited. I've been playing a lot of Pseudo Regalia Randomizer. Oh, that sounds really fun. Dang, Pseudo Regalia Randomizer. There it is. Alright. Now we can finish this once and for all. Have you heard of Super Ass Fuck RPG? Um... Uh, what studio was that made by? When did that come out? I've never heard of Pseudo Regalia. It's like a retro looking platformer that came out and it has a really cute main character. But tell me more about Ass Fuck RPG. I want to hear more about that one. Is it a real game? I got to check it out now. Damn, is it on sale? On itch. Damn. Okay, I'll check out Super Ass Fuck RPG. So it's a game that I can stream, you're saying? Because it doesn't. I wouldn't think that it's streamable based off its title. They did it on Vine Sauce? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into this. It's got a category? Okay, okay. I, I gotta know more about this game. It's not- it's very not sexy. What? Okay. What a name. Alright, where's that door? I'm looking for the door. I found the door, but I lost it. It's ass fuck as in silly. Hmm. I guess I'm a little ass fuck myself sometimes. What 
Was it in here? Oh my god, I feel like I'm walking around in circles. The difference is that you are sexy. Aw! Huh. Thank you. I guess this ass fucks in more ways than one. I'm almost there, I can feel it. What? Dead end? No. So this is- the ma the maze is where the 30 minutes come in from, huh? Well... I've- I literally know where the door is, I just- Every corner of the maze looks different. I mean, it looks the same. I wish it looked different, so I could tell where I was. I think I just have to keep going forward. I was walking backwards for a while. The mirrors- the mirrors are freaky. Okay, okay. We're almost there. This way. Okay, I remember this corner. I remember it. What? Okay, okay. Yeah, I like, um, I like that it turns from a third-person game to a first-person game. I like when games do that. That's, like, my favorite thing that video games do. Um... Uh, Pedestrian does that, and, uh... Like... Fez, I guess, counts? Fez does that, too? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind. Where am I going? How have I found this door three times and I can't find it now? Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. Couldn't get into Fez? Oh, I love Fez. I don't even care that the guy that made it is kind of an asshole. Which is what I've heard. But I don't even know how much of an asshole he is. It's a really good game. I don't like the aimless nature of the game. I, I guess I can see that, yeah. Um... But if you're like... If you're committed and you... And the... The map... The weird, like, three-dimensional map isn't very overwhelming. Like, I think it's really cool. I've heard that, and I choose to ignore it. Yeah, same. I'm like... I do not see it. I think the collectathon nature was done badly. I guess I can see that. I don't know. I, I, I think it was novel enough for me to stick it through. I don't know. I feel like I'm the first person to quit games like that when it's like, I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know where I'm going, I've got to stop playing this now. But somehow I finished Fez and I... and I'm very glad I did. And then after you beat it, you, you unlock like first person mode, which I don't know if that's a spoiler, but... There's some like obscure puzzles in the game where you can only see it in first person. Aren't- aren't there some still, like, unsolved puzzles that they're trying to brute force in that game? I heard there was, like, one... There was, like, one anti-cube that, like, people still don't know how to get. Mixed up Phil Fish with Jonathan Blow and his piss jugs? Huh? Wait, who's the- who's the one with the piss jugs? I gotta know.
Jonathan Blow has piss jugs? Huh? What? What are piss jugs? Oh my god, I've, I've walked in circles like five times. What it says on the tin? But do you- who supplies the piss? Whose piss is in that jug? <laughs> I'm just fucking thinking of a tweet I saw. I need to stop thinking of tweets in general. <laughs> I saw like a fucking tweet. It was like a picture of a gas station piss bottle. This is a water bottle filled with piss. And the caption was, Based on the taste, this belonged to a woman. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh, I just feel like I had to explain because I started laughing. But now I wish I didn't say anything. Oh, there it is! There it is! We found it! What? Allie, what? No, they're not my piss jugs. No. We're talking about Jonathan Blow. Alright, we're gonna beat this game for the third time. And this time we got the uh, cross necklace again. Yeah, we finally found it. I knew it. I always believed. I'm so glad we found Mario today. If we didn't find Mario today, there wouldn't have been any Martin, any new Mario game ever, uh, ever again. Perica, Peralala, Popurina, Pepperuto. That'll be our raid message. Can someone write that down? Because I'm gonna forget. That'll be our raid message for today. Perica, Piralala, Poporina, Pepperuto. It's gonna scare whoever we raid today. Pee pee po po. Piss bottle raid. No, not that. No, not not piss bottle raid. Wait. How did I? I guess it doesn't matter whether you have the necklace or not. We're wearing the necklace. I guess every time you beat the game after the first time, you end up in the car. Huh. It's a time loop no matter what. <laughs> Judging from the taste, this raid belongs to an otter. <laughs> Cursed. Perica, yeah, I like that. I like that. Perica Peralala. She wasn't dreaming because she's wearing the necklace. This will be our raid message for today. Yo, we did it! Yo, I'm happy. Ooh, looks like Allie needs the freaking emotes. Embarrassing. So embarrassing. Mm, yeah, you can leave now. Damn it, I'm not spubbed. It's okay, you don't have to use the emotes. It's okay. Alright. That was fun. We beat two games today. Well, we beat two games... But we beat the second game three times, so in a way we beat four games. What?! What?! Thank you for the gift sub, Cedric Fox. Thank you, thank you. You really didn't have to do that. That's very kind of you. Thank you! Now Allie has the emotes and doesn't have to leave. Unacceptable state of affairs. Thank you! Thank you! I really, really appreciate that. That's really nice of you. Alright! Let's go back here. I'm gonna quit the game. How do I quit the game? It won't let me quit. There's no quit. Close window. All right, that was productive. I don't want to do Alt F4 just in case 
I accidentally alt F4 out of the stream. Now that would be embarrassing. And it hasn't happened yet. All right, let's see who's on. My headache went away, so that's good. Thank you, chat. You got rid of my headache. How did you do it? You did it again. Let's say hi to... What are we saying hi to today? It's always nice saying hi to Popsicle. Let's raid Popsicle. Um, Pop is doing art. And their art is always really, really good. They do a lot of... Like... Emotes and other kinds of art. I don't know what other kinds of art there are but emotes, but whatever they make is good. Really good. Um, yeah, it looks like a really chill stream. Let's say hi. Peruko Perolala, Peruko... I already forgot it. This song is, uh, Rustboro City Remix by Philip Schlaus Schlauser on YouTube. Okay, Raid Popsicle. Here's the raid message. Perica Perilala Poparina Peruto! Peperuto. Alright. That was fun. Uh, I'm gonna be back tomorrow, and then I'm going on my break. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, we're gonna try Hylix tomorrow. It's an RPG. It's a weird RPG. I don't know if it'll be fun, but we're gonna find out. Well, I think- I'm sure the game will be fun, but... I, I don't know if it'll be a good stream game, but I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway. Hylix 1. I don't know if I have Hylix 2, but we gotta play the first one, right? Otherwise, I won't know what's going on. Alright. See you tomorrow. I wanna be streaming around the same time. Um, usually around 1 or 2 p.m. Eastern time. See you then. Bye. Bye. Enjoy the raid. Bye!